And so far, all the fights are actually going their way. Every single player rocking that MG so far, but Narn better at the TPs, better at the impulse nades, and better at the movement. It's just that Sur, he has such good control of his character. You'll love to see it, you know what I mean? It's like watching Michael Jordan play. And you can see it in the chat too. Uh, Swallowtail on the side of YGG saying, This guy sure is so good. And that is exactly the reaction we've been having as well. So, you know, as we continue on throughout the bracket, we're just going to continue to see more and more players as the competition, the level of the competition rather, rises throughout the day and throughout the month. You know what I mean? Multiple qualifiers uh, coming into a championship later on in the year. EV.io, the action is nonstop, Sneaky. Yep, action is on top. I mean, that's just the uh, the game itself kind of acting out. But, yeah, uh, this is kind of hard to come back from, especially here for my GG. Yeah. They don't really have right. any leeway. They have like 11 chances to get back into this game. Now it's only 10. And Narn looking to just close this game out maybe three Absolutely. minutes early because uh, they're just fighting again and again and again. And Sora so far having himself a hell of a game. Yeah, and you know, like the, the one of the more fun things about EV is that you can just customize the way you play. And so, if you see that a team is rushing you down, like Narn is onto YGG, uh, something defensive from YGG is maybe you set up some mines. You know, take a step back, set up some mines, sit down with a hand cannon, try to do some damage, and expect the regression. There's a lot of ways you can adapt to try and make something different happen. However, YGG, like you mentioned, sneaky, they're at a no return. A point of no return here. It's 45 to 23. Narn just needs five more, and Dragon is <laughs> feeling good, even though he's going to get katana from the back there. 47 to 24 for Narn. Yeah, and I think this is just going to be Narn's game at this point. They have the swords out, so they know that this could just be game over. That's going to be big damage in, but the last three kills are going to be hard fought, especially in towards the melee range, even, but... Narn, they just have it in the bag at this point. Almost a 20 kill lead towards their side. Sur, with the aim of his lifetime at the moment. Paul's having himself a hell of a game as well. But Narn, <laughs> looking to just close this one out. Yeah, they, they want to get the swag kills, of course. 49 on the board, looking for the knife. And Dragon, looks like he's going to get number Ooh, three. Pulse right. gets knifed. Yeah, and there's number 50, Dragon. Uh, or sure, rather, getting that uh, finishing one. Beautifully done overall. So dominant in that first match. Of course, it is a best of three mm -hmm. situation. So we're going to be going to a map two, Sneaky. But Narn looked really damn good there. YGG got their work cut out for them. How do you feel, man? How do you feel after that match? Yeah, I mean, uh, I really do feel that I want to see more EV here from Narn so far. I mean, every single fight that they go into, they just absolutely win. Great use of the TP and uh, great use of the movement, especially with the sliding as well in combination. So, so far, we are seeing everything here uh, going right for Narn, but YGG, uh, I think Dragon Temple is really just not their side of the map. Maybe going into map number two, we can see something different from them, but uh, I am not so sure considering how far the lead was in uh, our first map. Yeah, of course, it is a mountain to climb up against that mm -hmm. player. Of course, we watched Sure maybe get into situations 1v1, 1v2, 1v3 even, and come out on top. That tracking was just impeccable. And, of course, you saw the frustration from the enemy team even, uh, you know, writing out in, t in the all chat that this guy was so good. So definitely in the minds of the other players, living their rent-free sneaky. You love to see it being the... Um, you know, the opposition being the person that's doing this, but being on the receiving mm -hmm. end, it's got to be tough. Heading into game two, they've got to come in with some sort of different strategy, but the map's name is Momentum, and if we saw anything on the first map, it was the momentum of Narn that took them all the way to the finish. You mentioned it. It was just nonstop. Yeah, I mean, uh, especially Momentum in this game when you just have the confidence to just swing every single corner and uh, go for control on some special weapons, right? You know, uh, Sometimes you really just have to have a bit of bravery in you uh, to take important sides of the map here, especially uh, those snipers and those deagles can really be a tide changer when it comes to those fights when they get the initial damage in. So, uh, yeah, I, I just want to see uh, teams like Narn uh, keep on getting more aggressive as the games right. do go. 
Yeah, I love watching it happen. And of course, the you can see the decision making, right? As soon as they get the frag impulse to the diagonal side of the map, because if you know anything mm -hmm. about the spawns, you know they're going to spawn you as far away from the enemy players as possible. And so you're trying to make that, trying to close that gap as soon as possible. So, you know, who's going to get there first? Are they going to set up mines? What are they going to do in return? This sort of mind game is really where the game is. Uh, comes into play so you love to see it you love to see some great shots that we saw in that first game can't wait to see the second one but of course if you're just joining us we are in the quarterfinals of qualifier number one for ev.io brought to you by xborg powered by brave and part of the extreme championship series of course shout out to swissborg as a sponsor and if you're interested in joining head on over to communitygaming.io you can sign up for all the qualifiers there yep and uh, make sure you guys uh, do all that and then some make sure to hop on to brave our main sponsor as well so uh, make sure you guys put that browser in and uh, while you're browsing you can uh, collect something that you can donate on some of these sites that uh, really are gonna benefit from it so shout out to brave man uh, pretty good browser uh, from uh, my experience at least so uh yeah i mean i would say we can go into the second map into this one and um narn looking good so far in towards our first uh, game but just like i said second game could be entirely different considering dragon yeah. temple is such a different map compared to uh what we have seen in the in the first game or in the first map rather because uh, i think momentum could be uh a more closed or wide open map but it really depends because dragon temple uh if you really don't have the right rhythm in that map it really just uh really just slips away from you absolutely it's so hard to get a footing once you lose it and like we were talking about they're they're hopping between spawns and it's just you're gonna keep getting dunked on and you lose one player then it's a 3v2 and then you're waiting for the respawn and then it's like okay how do we regroup and if you don't have that composure like you're talking about right of course um we were seeing Narn's team just, even if they lost one, they somehow were able to create enough time for their third player to come back, and they were able to take that 3v whatever, come out on top. Uh, that sort of composure, hard to do, man. Hard to do when there's so much on the line. $4,000 today, $20,000 mm -hmm. overall, just for EVIO. It's, uh, the pressure must be real. Yeah, I mean, pressure must be real indeed because that's going to be big money that you can get into if you are good enough at this game. So make sure to join in Community Gaming once again. And uh, yeah, uh, I would expect the new map is just going to be around the corner, I think. And uh, yeah, hopefully YGG can bounce back into the series. Maybe we can even see a third map, maybe. either uh, maybe a Fractal, maybe, you know, a Bishop. But it really depends on the teams here. Yeah, absolutely. Fractal, uh, just a favorite of the community, I yep. feel like. It's just like the, one of the standard maps, so it would be great to go to a map 3, but maybe not. That game was pretty dominant. However, like you said, YGG, they've competed for a while. They are not amateurs. They know what they're doing, and they have some experience, so maybe maybe all they needed was a warm-up game, you know? Like, just, just get the engines warm, man. We're just getting started here. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh, hopefully hopefully it was uh only a warm-up in the first game for both teams but uh still uh the reality is someone is uh one game away from dropping out from this tournament and uh one team yes. is one game away from moving on in towards our bracket so it is going to be uh quite interesting to see how these teams really do pan out in this game once the pressure does finally come in this one but uh, yeah, I would say as long as their mechanics are clean and just like I said, as long as you kn know the map, I think you're, you know, you're going to do fine, I guess. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's, it's a lot, you know, like you said, mm -hmm. one map away from getting knocked on out, single elimination, the stakes are high, the tension is high, um, and one map away from proceeding on in your bracket, so you know it's you're this close you're this close both of them are this close to something happening so a scary time for sure as we head on into map two ygg versus nar and of course we're going to be talking about momentum we are getting a server swap as well just to keep things fair you know we're playing internationally these are things that you just got to do um, yeah and of course if you want to start competing today ev.io man community gaming you can get in on the action it's free to play free to compete I don't see why you wouldn't give it a shot, to be honest, especially if you're a fan of games like Halo, Arena FPS titles like Quake, um, 
Crunker, things like that, you're going to have a really good time and a really rewarding experience in mm -hmm. a game like EV.io. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good aim trainer as well. I think I, I find myself in a lot of like high stress situations where, uh, you know, you have to jump into the face of danger and uh, just having, you know, that sense that, oh, I can definitely... Uh, yeah, I can definitely just be in this situation, no problem. Just try to see if you can, uh, you know, uh, get as much kills despite all the things flying at you. And if you're cool, calm, and collected, you can just frag out and uh, have an advantage on towards the other team. Because look at how hectic the game is. TP, smokes, nades, Ooh. bullets. Yeah, abilities all over the place, man. And yep. it's really like if you enjoy this... this Yeah, let's call me your friend. You got this, though. You won. Yeah, I don't lose those. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Wake up, brother. Wake up, my friend. I'm going in. Why? Oh, wait. I don't know where I am. <laughs> all on me, all on me. The Asians are on me. <laughs> you just switched out to get on me. They see as much as I see. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> on me, on me, on me. Oh my god, it's actually all of them on him. I don't know what I'm doing. My friend. My friend, they're too good. You got it. Yeah, as you heard it from the players themselves, Sneaky, it is a hectic time to be alive and a hectic time to be an EV player, but a good time to be a Narn team member as they're leading 16 to 9 over YGG. Yep, that's a really good early lead for them especially at the moment Narn once again seven kills ahead in this game and especially considering the size of the map momentum can really be such an annoying place to just chase down a single player here but especially with the nades that you have you're gonna have to be very creative at where you place your impulses and those mines are gonna be of high value because of these tps but we're gonna have to wait and see who is gonna come out in the end but Narn they still look really good so far they do indeed, and of course, it is still a seven-point game. YGG definitely putting up a fight, man. They are doing a lot better, and this map, I think, has a lot to do with it, right? You don't have such an open area, so Narn can't just be dunking on you left and right. YGG taking the opportunity there. Close five-point game. You know, showing signs of life. They don't want to be knocked out here, Sneaky. And, oh, Narn take the fight right to them. Close range, close quarters combat sure does go down. And YGG looks good, but Narn is able to get the trades back out. Pulse coming out on top. Dragon going for the engage yet again. And overall, it's really back and forth, like I was saying. Much less of a open map. Hallways leading to 1v1s, isolating these fights, giving opportunities to YGG to find these frags, but Narn still comes out on top, and it's still a 7-point game. Yep. Still no difference in terms of the lead here, because look at Narn, the man. They're just fighting, fighting, and fighting, and they just refuse to stop fighting in this game, and that means their points really don't decrease. Instead, their lead increases as YGG. They're trying to catch as much kills as possible, but with Narn's aggression, they're just coming at you from all sides, and this is a really hard thing to stop, but the lead is shrinking, but Narn, they're still not afraid to fight. They're not afraid to fight at all, even though, like you said, the lead is shrinking. Things are getting scary, but Pulse, oof, as I was about to say, they don't care. Scad finds two in a row, making it a four-point game, making it really close with three minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock. Narn able to make it a five-point game as YGG fire on back. Things are tense, sneaky, and things are getting good, man. These smokes, these fights, these chases, they're all finding a lot of value for Narn now in a 2v1. <gasps> Looks like Dragon comes out on top. Still a five-point game here. This is close, Sneaky. Yep, Dragon starting to pop off in this game, but, you know, the side of IGG, they're starting to catch more of these kills now really effectively. Narn starting to play a bit reckless here. Uh, much less teamwork, more of just a 1v1 fight coming in from all of the players here. It has been working so far, but now it is working again for some reason. YGG, I think they just lost steam out of that initial fight. And then now Narn is just here to punish. They just have more takeover power, I guess. They just have more energy. 
Yeah, oh my. Okay, watching the action now. 41 to 34. Narn still in the lead. Scad, great with that nade launcher in close quarters. Finds two in a row. And a great trade there from Dragon. Gets sure the player that's been giving them so much trouble on the side of Narn and Dragon on a bit of a tear here. He wants his team to stay in this damn thing, but he's going to get knifed by Swallowtail. Narn still at 42. YGG at 37. Five points separating these two squads. And they get one apiece, Sneaky. It is so close. Yep. But still, the reality is Narn is the one with the lead. So that means they have the higher chance of just tr trading it out until there is the score of 50. Narn only needs four. And they have the win in this game. And they have the spot in our playoffs. Or there it is, man. I mean, they're just keeping on going. I mean, if at this point, Narn... They're just going to win out the game because of just the constant fighting. Just like I said, the more fights they have, the closer they are to 50. The closer they are to 50, exactly. YGG, all the fights that they can take, it's just going to make it a better situation for them. Like you mentioned, man. Narn, oh, with that nade, they find 48. YGG at 43, still a five-point game. A minute, 30 seconds left on the clock. Wrath going around the left side, spotting someone out. They've got a bunch of damage down onto him, but they can't find it. Find the finishing blow. Swallowtail in the distance. Gonna Damn. go down to Wrath. Beautifully done. 44 to That's 48. One. Narn at 49. They're one point away. YGG, to... man. They're feeling the pressure, Sneaky. And just like that, Narn are able to lock in 50 frags and lock in their place into the semifinals. There it is. That is them in the semis. Top four already. And that's just the type of game EV IO is, man. I mean, we could be uh, having, you know, a tournament in an hour and we could have the grand finals in like 45 minutes. It's just that quick of a game. And especially with games like this, right? Where the right. teams just keep on fighting and fighting and fighting. We're just going to see a lot of very quick games, even sub four minute games if, if we have uh, paces like this. And uh, uh, yeah, Narn, they played it perfectly. Yeah, it looked good, man. And like you mentioned, they played so hectic. I almost feel like if YGG put up that pace of competition mm -hmm. at the beginning of the round, we might see them as the victor. We might be going to map three. It was such a close game by the end of that thing. So, you know, shout out to YGG. They, they put on a great show. But like you mentioned, man, single elimination. They lost two maps. They are out of here. So thank you to them for competing. Mm -hmm. But... We'll see them later, man. Semi-finalists locked in and our first, you know, um, elimination of the day. So a brutal bracket nonetheless. $4,000 on the line. And, of course, qualifiers, there will be multiple of them. So if you're into competing, you can make it happen today, Sneaky. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, that is it for our uh, round two series of the day as we do go into our top four, uh, which is going to be, if I'm not mistaken, Xborg NA and Narn 24-7 in the top side, Eternity 2, and Xborg EU in the bottom side of our bracket. Uh, we're going to know who is uh, going to be our grand finalist once the semifinals games do start. So guys, do not go anywhere. When we come back, more EV.io action coming at you. Express his leaders. A bit. Yeah, I think so. Might get big. So that would be massive. And so it's a mirror of Buffield and mirror off of Brinrold and Amrock on exactly the same grade, but one is nature, the other one is air. Widow has the upper hand of the other one. Well, I mean, Orso might have a little bit because he's playing the air versus yeah. he's the counter element. So we'll oh. see if he can capitalize on it. Will it be enough? 
Lolo me is first this time, so we know he likes to be second, but he probably has a good strategy for being first too. Yep. Both slimming so soon. It's interesting that he drops that one here because obviously... Well, okay, yeah, you, it's hard to take it back with the nature, so that seems unlikely. Poof. So, the affix, like, Wolves wanted to play the earth and the dark, but the... the oh no, he just played the... Yeah, I'm not sure. Sh... Ah, because he, he wanted to play it. So he could actually take... Yeah, he, so wanted, he wanted to retake to the nature. Earth, but then it got too big. <laughs> yep. Uh, so first kind of a quick play Oops. that we see here. Yeah, oopsies. Lolomi just uh, going for it, uh, controlling the full board. Full board and the Trinity. Yeah. And, uh, but the thing is, it's still kind of laying some groundwork for Warsaw. So this turn. No, yeah, yes, this is a big card. But... Like, if he plays his leader. In B3, then yeah. it doesn't create any affinity. Uh, he really wants to keep his leader from. We had a dream five years ago, and look what happened. Sweet ball. Sweet ball. Raised $52 million. There it is. Hello, and welcome back to the Extreme Championship Series for EV.io, brought to you by Xborg, Swissborg, Community Gaming, and of course, the Brave Browser. Make sure to download the Brave Browser if you want the best of the best in the market when it comes to the browsers directly connected to crypto. But there it is, man. I mean, map uh, or series number one uh, still underway in this one, or rather, um, series number one already done in this situation. It was so fast, man. I think uh, I'm still not uh, used to uh, <laughs> getting back into EV.io and matches being that fast. But yeah, Narn uh, eliminating our first uh, team, or not our right. first team, our first on-stream team in the tournament, which is YGG. Unfortunately, they cannot uh, go past them for now because uh, Narn, I mean, mechanically, uh, they have been overall clean. Their uh, fights have been really, really perfect. Their TPs... Their teamwork overall as uh, three players really are uh, really are resulting in most of them just winning the fights out. And this is what I like about 3v3, right? I mean, the score limit is just 50. It It is the same for 2v2, but the 3v3 yeah. is a lot more quicker because uh, there's a lot right. more people to shoot. So a lot more people can die. But uh, so far, uh, the expected, I wouldn't say, you know, super expected uh, two teams here because it's always like a... It's always a toss-up between most of these teams, like uh, YGG and uh, Narn and Eternity. So you can have like um, Eternity in the first week where they can make it to top eight, and then you know they can win the the next tournament here as long as Export EU is not present. So a yeah. lot of teams, you know, not stepping up to the plate. But good thing this is only month number one of the XCS series, and there's a lot more qualifiers in this one. But the usual suspects are here, man. I mean, Export EU. Uh, of course, the three best players in this game, uh, Lexi, <laughs> SKSJ, and M2RK, uh, they, right. they kind of shift around their third player, but uh, as long as M2R, or as long as uh, Lex and uh, SK are there, they're going to be A-OK. -okay. Right, these are players that we've seen just absolutely tear it up. Mm. Championship, tournament after tournament, just fabled players amongst the EVIO community and of course they're insane aim trainers too right like these are people that we know from different platforms who have carried their mm -hmm. skills on into this game so when we talk about if you love FPS titles and you want something to compete in that's free to play you can play it on any browser pretty much anywhere and you can earn money to play it Dude, this is the place to be. It's an awesome tournament. And like Sneaky said, this is just the first qualifier of many. All for 4000 bucks a pop, leading up to the championship at $20,000 overall. So, of course, like you said, shout-outs to Brave, shout-outs to Swissborg. And if you want to get involved, head over to communitygaming.io, and you can get signed up today. But a lot on the line, man, and it's single elimination. So, really, if mm -hmm. you're feeling it one day, anything could happen. But up against people like Export EU, Export NA, and of course, as we saw in the bracket, a slew of other teams in our semifinals. 
it's going to be a great day for FPS competition today. 3v3s. Um, lots of strategy, like you mentioned. It was a really quick first game. Um, but I'm expecting as we head throughout the day that these games will kind of slow down, especially as we near 50 points, right? We talked about different strategies. Um, some players like setting up mines, playing a little more passively once they get the lead so that they can prevent those rushes. They can prevent those... Um, you know, rush downs and mm -hmm. set up a little bit more of a defense. We'll see what happens, Sneaky, as we head on into this semifinals match. Yep, and there it is, Dragon Temple in the first game already. Big boy and Big Brain Poppy on the side, and we are going to expect once <laughs> again just to jump in, and especially with teams like Narn and like Exporg, we are going to see a lot of this. Sur and Polos, not a stranger to the Exporg NA lineup, so they have been playing for a while as well and this uh, first initial fights that we are seeing right now is the most important part of any EV.io game. Who can build the lead first? Oof. Yeah, beautifully done. It's a 3v3 at 7 minutes on the board and you can see them using all of the map. We talk about verticality. This is what we're talking about with Big Boy going down there. That's a name too that we're super familiar with if you've watched any of the EVIO competition in the past. Narn with a one point lead here, already a much closer game and you can see it's way slower as Zeno ties things back up 4-4. Four to four. Continuing on the action here, you can see on the high ground, pinning him down. Big boy trying with this spray to get on to Pulse. Pulse is doing a good job setting up a mine on his back. Just in case someone were to impulse on up here. He's doing a good job of just holding this location though. And four on four on the board. It is a tight game as Export find one more. Find a second in a row. That is two for none. And that's a clean sweep for Export and a seven to four. Really well done over Narn 24-7. For the first time this day, we're seeing Narn 24-7 on their back foot, Sneaky. So, Exborg, uh, they're doing something right here, and that's to say the least. Yep. And this is Exborg and a man. They also know how to play this type of EV.io, so they are no longer strangers, strangers to it, and they can actually counter it at the same time. But this is the best of the best of NA in this team of Exborg, so I do expect them to just be able to at least be equal to Narn at the moment, but Narn actually losing the lead in this situation. Not the best scenario for them at the moment. Yeah, not a great situation for them to be in. Definitely slowed down a lot. And when you've got people like Big Brain Poppy playing this long range, when you got Big Boy with that sniper also playing the long range, you're kind of getting picked apart from places that you can't even tell you're getting shot from. You know what I mean? x with a four-point lead here, giving Narn a run for their money. Putting them on their back foot for sure, and they're doing a really good job. We talk about strategy on this map. Super open, very conducive to snipers. So if you can hit those shots at the long range, why not take it? Red team using that tactic to their advantage here. Taking the lead. Narn finally taking the fight close range, but Exborg still from a distance, sniping them down, closing it back up, and still maintaining this five-point lead. Yep. And Exborg and A, all they have to do is basically camp their side of the map here, but they don't want to do so as well. They want to do the same as Narn did earlier in this game, which is just keep on fighting and fighting and fighting. But Narn, they could actually fight back into this one, but the instant uh, instant recognition here from the side of Exborg and A, they're just like, okay, they're on the other side of the map, they're going to go middle here. So that means we're just going to keep on fighting, but Narn starting to claw back the lead here. Yeah, really, they're doing a fantastic job. And if they can keep their pedal to the metal, if they can keep the aggression up, Export are going to be in a tough situation. Narn doing a really good job, though. They've slowed it down. They've got all three of their members up on the high ground there. They've settled in for just a moment, and it looks like Export, they're aware of the danger, and they're going to settle down as well, too. Taking this ranged fight around the left side, beautifully done from Zeno. He isolates that one fight. Impulse up to the top here. There's the follow-up. Such great teamwork from the x team. They find out where Narn are hiding. Of course you're going to be up on that high ground, and they execute perfectly for two quick frags, and they're looking for more now, closing the distance. They're going to go down. Narn, find two more. Not a great trade for x and it's just a three-point game, Sneaky. Yeah, I mean, so far it uh, has been quite the equal fight at the moment. Pulse, I mean, going up against his uh, fellow NA squad. So I would say it is going to be a tough one for him having to have 
team on his back by quite a bit because he's the one probably with the lowest ping on this team. The rest, not so sure, but Pulse, he's been quite the effective player so far. I mean, he's kind of the reason why they're back in this game, 19 and 20, but NA, they're going to try to fight back into this one, but Zeno, of course, it's the man himself recovering the, himself. the lead. Yeah, absolutely. Really well done, Export. Just you talk about collected, they look collected, and of course, as I say that, Big Boy falls off a ledge and dies. So, x works still maintaining the lead here, a very close game, but they're doing a really good job of choosing when to fight. It looks like Narn always have to be the ones reacting to when x decide to make a play. So, let's see if Narn, maybe they take control of the game, maybe they take the lead, or maybe not. x with a great trade there, still at four points in the lead. And at a distance, Big Boy connects for 28 for export. Make that 29. Beautiful shot from Big Brain Poppy. Yeah, Big Brain Poppy has been kind of working on his LR at the moment. So his laser rifle is looking really, really clean. And especially that's the type of gun that can just two-tap from any range of the map. That could be a really dangerous threat, especially here for the side of... Um, of Narn who really just have to think about can they really peek the corner for free here or are they going to get tagged for 70 and be easy oh. pickings? Yeah, absolutely. It's something you always have to reckon with and of course with so many weapons, there are so many ways and it's really just like the eternal rock, paper, scissor, right? If someone's going to be playing the laser rifle from a distance, you try to close that gap, try to you know, sniper. make it so that you're hard to hit, right? Use a nade, use something else, get an impulse, get in their face. If you're, someone's using an MG, try to get that distance on them. Try to make that MG useless. Uh, this back and forth is going to continue forever, and export just seem to have the better understanding here, getting the drop down onto Sure, while Sure finds one, finds two, gets traded out by Big Brain Poppy, but that was pretty much the best possible outcome for Narn in that fight. Yep. And now Export NA looking for the closer here on Dragon Temple. And once again, this is going to be Narn now sending it on towards the side of Export NA. That was the exact same spot uh, their enemy had in the last game. But now they're going to be the ones playing catch up in this one. So it's going to have to be them impulsing in. They're going to have to be a bit careful though because the mines are going to start to stack up near the TP side. So they're going to have to pick these fights correctly and make sure they don't get overwhelmed. Absolutely. Let's see how they manage that one as the game has dwindled down to just a four-point lead. And Xborg leading with 40 seconds left on the clock. Narn, if they want to win this first game, man, it's still possible. But they've got to make something happen, and they've got to make it happen quick. It's a five-point game now. Narn watching the sides. Big Brain Poppy slowing it down for the side of Xborg N8. And at a distance, he's doing damage, and the rest of his team is cleaning it up. Xborg, fantastically done. Ice in their veins. They don't care that it's close. They're just going to continue with their game plan and secure the bag here. Xborg N8 taken up towards 50 with 10 seconds still left on the clock, Sneaky. There it is. Not much time for the side of Nar to get back into this game. And Xborg N8, they take the first game in this one. And the first game in our semifinal, Narn, unfortunately, not going to get Dragon Temple. So instead, they're going to opt in for a map number two. So it is going to be very interesting to see how are they going to gain back their lead. Maybe on momentum, maybe on uh, on our other maps. But yeah, it really depends on uh, what the reaction is here from the side of Narn. Because Xborg and A, they look really good in that first map. Yeah, they looked really good, and Narn had a couple of great moments. We got to three points, maybe four points, separating the two squads, but, you know, that's one or two team wipes. They were so close to making it happen, but, like you mentioned in x Gen 8, just stay calm, cool, collected. They don't let their don't let the pressure get to their heads, and they just extend their lead towards the end of that map as you're expecting them to slip up. So, Narn, they're going to have to turn into, you know, kick in a sixth gear, kick in a seventh, make something happen. Because, you know, like you mentioned, they're on their tournament life, man. This is a single mm. elimination bracket. We're down one map already. Export NA currently leading in our semifinals. And, of course, the other matches in the bracket are happening as well. And we'll get you the results on that after all is said and done. Sneaky, but lots on the line, man. And we're already into the semifinals of today of qualifier number one. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it seems like the... Uh, bottom side of the bracket, if I'm not mistaken. So we are 1-0 uh, on towards Xborg NA, and according to CG, uh, Eternity 
actually leading the first game. Not the not the most common thing that you see in uh, in EV.io, especially export EU kind of down. But uh, let's see what could happen in that one. But uh, we can go into map number two very very soon, and it's gonna be interesting to see how is Nard gonna come back into this one because uh, they haven't been in a losing position the entire day. Yeah, I mean that's. It's an awesome story developing on the other side of the bracket, so I can't wait to see who comes out on top. But, of course, we've got this side of the semifinals with Export NA versus Narn in the green. And, of course, Export NA coming into the semifinal with one point already. So, with the best of three, single Elim bracket at play here, we are on the tournament life for Narn. If they lose this one, Export NA move on to the grand finals. And if they win, we head into the map three. Sneaky, a lot of action started things off. Big Brain Poppy, though, finding action with that LR early. But Narn, more importantly, taking a lead here. There it is, Narn. That could be the good start that they were looking for in this game. And now they can just walk around in this map. And Exborg. Now they're not going to be the ones playing chase in this game. But still, I mean, Big Boy keeping them in this game. And now it is tied up once again, but... Zeno and Big Boy doing a really good job in towards their fights here. They're not losing any of these fights. And man, what a what little streak that Export just had right about now and using their weapons really well. Using their weapons really well, but of course Export and A man ah uh, just where there was hope for Narn, it quickly dashed. Like you mentioned, we talked about this pre-stream, right? These power-ups, these weapons, so important. You can ignore them, sure, but if you do, you're gonna feel it, and you're gonna feel it for sure as Export flip the lead, 11 to 6 now, down onto Narn, and they're dominating again, you know what I mean? They've got Big Brain Poppy with the LR, he's sort of the anchor for this red squad, doing tons of damage, getting on out of dodge, trying to get out of danger, but gets taken out this time around, but I like that overall structure that Export and A are running. Yep. And that is going to be what you need in this game, that is for sure. Just them trying to contain their lead as much as possible, especially Exborg NA. They're already on the 7 point lead despite the not the best start for them in this game. But still, we are seeing Narn trying to fight as much as possible. But Zeno has the sniper now, and they are just holding down their side of the map really well, even with the TP mined up. So there's no way to flank Exborg NA at the moment. No way to get behind them. The only way in is through, and that's exactly what Export NA do. Popping open that lead, 18 to 9. Five minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock here. Export NA, like you mentioned, not the greatest start for them, but man, oh man, it's all about how you finish an Export NA, doubling the score of the green team, really styling on them as Big Boy trying to make it across the map. He has just not been able to track down the the members, or rather, uh, Narn's just not been able to track down the members of Exborg NA. They're moving so well together across the map as a unit, taking out the green squad and Swallowtail overextending there, going down to Big Boy. Ooh. Assure returns with a frag and returns with a second. Great trades there, but still Exborg NA roughly doubling Narn's score. Yeah, and I think this lead could be very dangerous here for the side of Narn if they cannot con contain this and try to get this uh, get back as fast as possible because Exborg NA, once they go uh, past the 30 point, it is going to be just Narn trying to not die as much as possible, them just trying to get as much kills because Exborg NA, they could be closing in towards 50 here as they get to the halfway point. Absolutely, let's see. Sure. The star of Narn, the player we've been watching for so long, lasers down Zeno as he picks up Pulse. Impulsing around to the left side, realizes the action is continuing around this ramp, but he can't seem to get there. Trying to hop up to the high ground here, his TP finally, excuse me, comes back up, and he's trying to track across the sky, but Zeno mid-air finds two before going down. That's going to be a really tough one, that's for sure. Exborg and A, they're just going to keep their uh, points up in this one, and they're just mining up again and again and again, and you still do have Zeno pushing up the tempo for his team, pushing the line forward for their offense, and they're just not going to stop at all. They want to force the fight in towards Big Brain Poppy, who has the LR, and he cannot fight back unless he hits some really nice shots off of these really hard-to-hit players. 
Absolutely, Big Brain Bobby, when he needs to hit the shots, he's not able to do it as Swallowtail machine guns him down. Pulse now on the back foot, realizes the spawns are right across from him. He is making his way there, as is sure, but they're coming in from different angles, giving these 1v1s to Big Boy and the rest of the squad as Swallowtail mines through the TP. Big Boy taking out his teammate and Swallowtail left by their lonesome. Xborg and A just doing such a good job of isolating these fights, Sneaky. And there it is, Xborg and A looking for the last 10 kills in this situation to move on to the grand finals of this tournament. And... They have, to, they have just looked good in game number one and two here. Not the yeah, best man. start to game number two, but, uh, you know, uh, they kind of cleaned it up in that single situation, and they have just never stopped. Oh, beautiful shots from Zeno. Oh, three in a row off the back of that MG. You talk about tracking ability, and you got to mention this guy's name. Zeno doing a fantastic job. And when we talk about being able to aim, that's really half of the game, right? You've got to play with your team. And if you're playing with your team well, man, teamwork makes the dream work. That is no joke. Xborg and a, a shining example of that. 45 to 25 with two minutes left on the clock. Uh, you got to say, Sneaky, this looks pretty solid for Xborg to head in to the grand finals here. Yeah, I mean, nothing really bothering them at the moment. They're just going to even knife one. Oh, my God, Pulse. Oh. He's going to it. Look at that. Type's easy. You know, it's all in good fun. Honestly, Pulse is probably going to screenshot that and send that to me later. And then he's <laughs> like, oh, my God, I just knifed Zeno. I just wrecked him. Easy. Even though we lost. Easy. But, you know, the real prize is getting that knife. Getting that pride of course, in, at least. The pride. Of course, $4,000 is nice. And it looks like X Board and A are that much closer to making that their four thousand dollars as they take that victory and they head on in to the grand final sneaky. Mm -hmm. That's a quick and clean two zero from the North American X Board squad. Yeah, I mean, hopefully we do see uh, Pulse and the boys in the next qualifier as well. Uh, probably we're gonna see them. You know, they are they they are and they do want revenge for the uh, Xborg NA team possibly going into this one in the final. So uh, let us see. I mean, uh, m maybe the bracket is going to be a bit different going into the grand finals, actually, because uh, it seems like Eternity, they're, I think they're still fighting in towards yeah. the, the lower side of the bracket at the moment. Yeah, I am really excited to see how that match plays out. Of course, like you mentioned, EU, top of the mm -hmm. top level of competition, just like NA, but of course, Eternity taking that first game in the BO3 semifinals on the other side of that bracket. So, of course, we'll report on the results for that as soon as we have it. But, Sneaky, what a match so far. And, of course, our first grand finalist of the day. If you're watching this and you're like, damn, I mm -hmm. can do that, do it ev.io make it happen sign up on communitygaming.io as well you can get into these competitions free to play free to enter and there's a ton of money a ton of incentive to get into it now mm -hmm. and yeah i think that is it for the semi uh, the upper semi-final in this one so guys we will be uh going into the grand finals in just a bit so do not go anywhere when we come back more ev.io action coming at you see you in a bit Express his leaders. Yeah, I think so. Might get big. So that would be massive. And so it's a mirror of Buffield and mirror off of Brinrold and Amrock on exactly the same grade, but one is nature, the other one is air. Widow has the upper hand of the other one. Well, I mean, also might have a little bit because he's playing the air versus yeah. he's the counter element. So we'll oh. see if he can capitalize on it. Will it be enough? Lolomi is first this time, so we know he likes to be second, but he probably has a good strategy for being first too. Yep. 
both slamming. So it's interesting that he drops that one here because obviously, well, okay, yeah, you, it's hard to take it back with the nature, so that seems unlikely. Poof. So the affix, like, Wolves wanted to play the earth and the dark, but the, the, oh no, he just played the. Yeah, I'm not sh Ah, because he, he wanted to play it so he could actually take. Yeah, he, so wanted, he wanted to retake to play the his nature. Earth, but then it got too big. <laughs> yep. Uh, so first kind of a quick play Oops. that we see here. Yeah, oopsies. Lolomi just uh, going for it, uh, controlling the full board. Full board and the Trinity. Yeah. And. Uh, but the thing is, it's still kind of laying some groundwork for Warsaw. So this turn. No, yeah, I guess this this will be calm. But like, if he plays his leader in B three, then yeah, it doesn't create any affinity. Like, he really wants to keep his leader. Pro we had a dream five years ago, and look what happened. Raised 52 million. Mm -hmm. And uh, there it is. Hello and welcome back to the Extreme Championship Series brought to you by Xbox with Sport Community Gaming and of course Brave, uh, the best browser in the market connected to crypto. So make sure you guys download Brave, of course. And uh, there is going to be a link going to be kind of spammed in the chat by the bot. So make sure you do press that. My name is Steve Frog. With me is Jim Bosco. And I think we're going to go into our second uh, semifinal. So the score was fake. It was just a placeholder, guys. And uh, Eternity 2 versus Xborg EU, the best in the biz versus uh, David here. And uh, yeah, hopefully we do see uh, some good fights uh, from the side of Eternity 2 here. Yeah, that's all we can really hope for. Of course, the semifinals won. Good matches, but of course, Xborg NA just so damn good. Let's take a look now mm -hmm. at also who we've crowned the MVP of the match. And to nobody's surprise, it's Zeno, man. An absolute stud on that team. We saw him get triple kill after triple kill, and if you're not familiar, that's an entire team wipe, Sneaky. This guy is nuts. Yeah, and uh, I, I would have expect Zeno to be the guy really pushing the line forward for his team, and just exactly, that is exactly actually what he did in the games that we just had at the moment here for Xborg and A. So, yeah, I mean, uh, a really good job from Zeno overall, showing his prowess on the mouse and keyboard. Absolutely, and of course, as the series, as the plays continue, we'll continue to bring you the best of the best in EV.io action. Let's go ahead and take a look at that bracket and see what we've got in store for you for the rest of the day. Of course, on the other side of the semifinals, Export EU versus Eternity 2. So we're going to see which one of those two teams come out on top. Sneaky, as you're mentioning, EU definitely favorites in this bracket, Eternity 2 have their work cut out for them as you mentioned a david and goliath type situation man yeah and hopefully it is a really close game i really like seeing export uh, eu uh kind of challenged in these games uh, even though they're my homies man uh, you really do want to see the best team uh, at least have a bit of struggle uh going into our bracket and 32 they also have some names and especially in uh Buckhauser. Uh, he's been around in and around the EV.io scene since forever here. So uh, let's see. Or Bukhazwer. I've always um, mispronounced this guy's name, but uh, yeah, could go I, either I've way. I said it like Bosch Kazver or something. I remember he said um, I had I did the pronunciation right that one time, but honestly, I, I don't remember how I pronounced it that one time. Um, but definitely, like you're saying, this these are players that have been here before with histories, with experience, and so... Will that amount to ice in their veins, or will they let the pressure mm. get to them when they, you know, when they need to be cool and composed the most? We'll see, man. Lots on the line. Lots of qualifiers, though, still also to come. So if today is just not the day, then you've got three other chances, or two other chances. There's three qualifiers total until the Grand Championship. So, you yeah. Know, you, you got chances, but not a billion. So you know. Three strikes and you're out. That's basically yeah. your... Uh... <laughs> 
near rule at this point if you are going to be the team not qualifying for this one. So let's see. I mean, yeah, Zeno really did a number to the opponent here, but can he do the exact same in our final in just a bit? We're just going to have to wait and see. But yep, yeah, Export EU, of course, uh, the usual suspects when it comes to the top of the podium all the time in EV.io. They are the best of the best and no one really doubts that and uh, of course they are led by mr lex himself the uh touted goat of the game so far and uh yeah i mean a lot of players really are trying to uh take him down he's kind of like the target he has a target on his back at right. the moment Bounce. and uh everyone is really trying to take him down that kind of be fun man you know like mm -hmm. if we incorporated a bounty system throughout these series as like you continue to play you just keep stacking up wins whoever can take them down man maybe there should be a reward that'd be kind of cool i don't know we're getting a little ahead of ourselves but that'd be kind of fun um i'm sure these players would love it too because if you've got 1v1 tournament mm -hmm. you've got 2v2s you got 3v3s lots of opportunities man um and if you're watching this and you're like this seems like a lot of fun i want to play this game ev.io free to play any browser that you can get on but you should probably use brave because this whole thing is powered by brave shout out to them main sponsor of the event so if you want to learn more sneaky what can they do man yeah i mean uh they could just go on over to your local search engine and uh, search brave it is probably going to be the first one that pops up or you could use the link in the chat that is being shared by Nightbot, and then you can get into Brave, no problem. I think it is right there, brave.com slash question mark ref VVG 689. And uh, yeah, once you type that out, that's Brave for you, baby. That's brave for you, baby. Of course, shout out to Swissborg as well in community gaming. If you want to actually mm -hmm. register for the tournament itself, make sure you go to EVIO, make an account there, and then head on over to community gaming. They're the ones organizing the actual tournament. So 4000 bucks of a prize pool for each of the qualifiers, and there's three total. 20000 bucks on the line overall mm -hmm. for the Grand Championship weekend. So lots of great stuff. And, of course, this is just one title that is happening um, many many esports competitions happening shout outs to export for throwing the extreme championship series it's awesome and if you're looking to get into web3 gaming man now's the time yeah i mean uh, now is definitely the time when the hype it's had its highest but it's not just about the uh it's not just about the earning side of things the competition side of things is getting heated up as well as you know the prize pools are just getting higher for these qualifiers and not just that sure. by the tail end of this one it is going to be uh, kind of like a rainbow because it has gold at the end of it, but you're going to have to fight for that gold. It's true. You're going to have to punch a couple leprechauns, but... That's true. What are you going to do? You know, this is just life. Um, yeah. It's just life, man. Of course, a great time so far, and shout out to all the competition, but it, it's a cutthroat bracket, dude. Single elimination is no joke, and um, I don't know if you all have ever competed, but the nerves have got to be high, and with money on the line... I can't imagine their hands are very still. Of course, with some of the mm -hmm. veterans like Export NA and Export EU, they've got some experience, and maybe that'll carry them to the grand finals. But of course, with Eternity and Export EU just around the corner, I'm excited to say the least. Yeah, and hopefully we do see uh, more of these teams going into this one. So, yeah, I would expect uh, most of at least... Uh, of uh, the EV.io tricks that we saw from that first game from the side of uh, Export EU. But, yeah, I mean, Dragon Temple is going to be another interesting starter for our first team. And uh, hopefully, whoever comes out on top in map number one really has uh, just that edge going into map number two. Absolutely, man. Dragon Temple, like we talked about, easy to gain momentum, easy to keep it up. Um, but once you lose it, that resettle, once people start setting up on the high ground for those slow pushes with the you know lr with the sniper whatever it can get kind of mm. dicey that that's what we saw in our first semi-final there um so maybe we'll see something similar but of course the eu team brutal like you're mentioning just mechanically gifted players so um, i'm excited to watch them operate it's always a good time and so you know if you're into fps fan if you're into fps stuff overall this is going to be a great match to watch and we're not even into the grand finals lots of competition still and the EVIO action doesn't stop today with qualifiers throughout the month and a championship weekend happening later on in the year. So tons of stuff still on the way. Um, yeah, and if you want to play, man, get on in your browser. It's the easiest thing to do. Yep. Yeah.
and uh, hopefully we do get to see the maps in just a bit. Of course, Dragon Temple, we've seen it time and time again today. Uh, it is, once again, pretty open map. Teleporters on both sides. Uh, special weapons are kind of out in the open, so it's a bit risky mm -hmm. to go for them. But teams like to go for it anyways because the smoke is a thing in the game and can really provide you that extra cover to try and go for those weapons, which we did see earlier uh, did a number on some of our teams, especially the sniper rifle and uh, the SMG in close quarters really just shreds anyone who is close by. And we are going to go into this one already. Uh, here we go. Eternity 2 in the green with Export EU in the red. And Eternity 2, am I seeing this correctly? 3-0 over Xborg EU currently, and you can see the EU team has slowed it down. Eternity 2 on the high ground already. Such a different pace from those first couple of games, man. Yeah, and I'm surprised uh, Xborg EU is already playing the slow, uh, slow pace game, uh, especially this early in the bracket. But uh, I think they're trying to play it a bit slow here, considering Eternity 2. They have some good players as well, so they just cannot be doubted at the moment. So mm. they're going to have to be the one sitting back and kind of catching oh. some of these kills. Yeah, beautifully done. Impulse down the middle, catches an isolated player in S games who's all by himself on the right side. Botch Gazware now with the rest of the team here. We know copies. We know him. I'm not sure about bait music, but, you know, shout out to bait music. M2RK taking the fight long range, not finding the shots he wants. And with the NIP skin equipped, which you can find in game, you can also look just like M2RK, but Eternity 2, man, they're looking really good right now. 6-2 to two on the board. Yeah, nothing really bothering Eternity 2 at the moment. They have uh, most of the weapons and most of the control in the map, and Lex trying to collect some of these snipers and some of these deagles, and especially when it is in his hands, it is a really deadly weapon to have, but still... Plenty of time for Export GU to come back into this game, but so far, uh, these initial fights are really not panning out for them, and now he has to recover yeah. some HP. That's a tough shot to try and take. S Gage goes for it, doesn't find the hit as Copy is three Ooh. for three, baby. Mid air, clip it and ship it. That one's going on Twitter. Eternity 2 looking really good right now, man. Yep, copy's kind of nice on that deagle, getting both of those shots mid-air and just finishing off those remaining two Export EU members. And now we are going to be entering at least a seven-point lead in the first half here. This is unprecedented, especially up against Export EU. But I think Dragon Temple is such a new environment for them that uh, they're not really used to this yet. Yeah, Eternity 2 is doing a really, really good job. Using those smokes, close the distance, take the peaks with these machine guns together, and they are frying Export EU. Lex, beautifully done, he gets two in a row, puts them back on the board, but still, it's a seven point lead for Eternity 2 as Lex fires back and potentially Export finding their footing now as S Gage finds another one as well. Oh. Yep, not much time for the side of uh, Export EU to try and find something here. I mean, it is five minutes, and there is plenty of time on the board, but Eternity 2, with the way that they're playing the game, they can just extend the lead as much as possible. But what they're doing right now is actually not even fighting the EU team straight up. They're just kind of playing their side of the map and their side of the cover, and they know that they have the lead at the moment, so they can just play right. permanently there at the moment and put Export EU in a really bad position trying to push in. Exactly. Yeah, they're doing a really good job and generally export EU, man. They're the people in this position, right? They're usually in the lead, usually waiting it out, waiting for the aggression of the other team. Now export, they've got to be the ones on the front foot here. M2RK, though, he's not unfamiliar with that spot. He is a legend of his own right. He finds two in a row. Teammate finds a third and that's a wipe for export down on the Eternity. Still a six-point game. Eternity are leading. But with four minutes on the clock, it really could go either way. Great impulse, and M2RK cleans it up. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. And Export closing it even further. And now, Export starting to get back into this game. This is really dangerous. They're starting to have their momentum on their side as well, mining up the teleporter so they have control on their side of the map. But all they do here is really just wrap around Eternity and Eternity just trying to kind of play hide and seek at this point, but it is working so far. And fight goes in their way as well. 21 and 15. Eternity 2 so far still with the lead in the game, but Export not too far behind. 
not too far behind and through the TP eternity bait music the bait is good bringing export straight through and bait finds three in a row looking really good right now eternity 2 is on fire yep but let's see three minutes still on the clock plenty of time for eternity 2 to still kind of uh, play the catch-up game not the catch-up game they're actually the ones running uh from the side of export eu at the moment but uh, yeah according to the chat guys i think uh, we might have a bit of a remake here because uh, one of the players is, uh, just ceased to exist out of nowhere yeah gonna get all the players reconnected back up of course just the nature of international competition sometimes you know Server how it sometimes be. it's tricky it is tricky indeed, but of course, Eternity versus Export EU, man, not going the way that we expected, really, at all. Export doing pretty well, but Eternity, they're good, man, they're good. Yeah, I mean, those early fights really just uh, kind of messed up the rhythm that Export uh, usually has in the game, and uh, the way that they're playing up against Export here is really just the opposite of what we've seen in the first game. They're just, like, running as fast as possible in the other direction and just having themselves with the cover instead, and they're going to shoot back once they know that they're in, they are in a safe spot and they have the advantage in the fight. So it's just really hard for Export EU to try and impulse back in to these fights when uh, Eternity 2, they're just sticking together in, the, in this entire time. Absolutely. Eternity is doing such a good job. And you can see um, X-Borg's EU squad will take those high ground fights. They'll camp mm -hmm. positions because they're looking for picks. But Eternity does such a good job of double swinging with their MGs and just not giving X-Borg EU an opportunity to fight back. And that's the kind of precision you're looking for, right? They're using these smokes, closing the gap, making sure they're in an effective range for that MG and just making it work, man. So they're cooking up a storm for sure. Eternity 2 were looking really good, but on this remake, you never know. Maybe it'll reset their momentum. Maybe it won't. You know, maybe they can keep it going. We'll have to see. Um, definitely up against legends in x mm -hmm. eu but they're getting it done so far yeah i think those first 30 seconds are going to be really important here for the side of eternity to right uh, whether or not they can get that initial fight and that initial lead uh from those fights that we saw in that earlier game and uh yeah i would say Hopefully, Eternity 2 can get the exact same early fight that they did, where they just uh, got a whole lot of kills. I think it was around 5, and they just, once again, just ran as far away as possible yeah. from Export EU, just trying to fight them with the distance. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of unlucky that this was a remake, man. Not going to lie, because like, Eternity 2, they had a really good chance going into this game. Yeah, they definitely did, and it, it, it's a tough situation to be in. But, of course, if you're Eternity, I think it's also got to be some sort of ease of mind, right? The top players in the bracket, the top players mm -hmm. perhaps in the game, and you were kind of dunking on them, you know what I mean? So, Eternity 2, you know, like, whatever, remake is a remake, but, you know, yeah. keep it in the back of your mind. Like, you, you guys were frying right there. So, anything's possible, and they're looking to rewrite history, man. So, good storyline so far, and it's just the first qualifier, so plenty more to go yeah i mean considering uh this could be uh i mean the first time for some of these players that they do beat export eu or at least go anywhere close to beating export eu at the moment so i would say you know uh, them and the boys do have the fair chance at the moment but unfortunately one of their teammates had these seeds so now they're gonna have to go into try number two in the exact same map of dragon temple yeah maybe they come you know maybe it's an opportunity to like cook up another strategy but that confidence wouldn't let that go it's got to feel good so hopefully they can keep that up eternity too they want to go to the grands man they want their cut of four thousand dollars and with that they'll you know they'll qualify for the championship weekend so uh, lots of stuff on the line but with that we are ready to head back into the match ladies and gentlemen between x -Borg eu our reigning defending champions as we're in the semifinals versus our other team here of course composed of copies botch casver and bape music eternity to a um star-studded squad but a squad we didn't really expect to put up a fight against this goliath of an opponent
Yeah, and I think the biggest thing here for the side of Eternity is actually how well uh, uh, Luckin has been playing the entire game and Copies has been doing a really good job getting uh, and stringing some of these kills at the moment. So I would say he's really the point person for his team at the moment. But Buckhauser really could be that guy that can pop off for his team in terms of the aim. And now we're back onto equal footing. Now we're 4-4, four to four, but can they create the lead once again? Can they make that opening? Yeah, that's going to be the question that everyone's asking. Eternity 2, 7 minutes on the clock. And just like that, copied, answering all of our questions, finding one as Bait Music finds the second. They're looking for the third. And Copies is able to do an Eternity 2 with the beautiful wipe right there. I they love are that. looking good, my man. I love that, honestly. The uh, Impulse State uh, plus the TP to get a lot more airtime so you can get that kill really is just good usage of the abilities here from the side of Eternity 2, especially here from Copies, but SKSJ with the laser rifle, he's going to try to get something back for his team, especially now he has the sniper. Lex as well does have a sniper, so they're trying to pick some of these players off. Yeah, trying their best. Next, we're just really good job playing that distance, using these snipers well. Uh, shot mid air, tough to land. SKH and Bait Music to go back and forth. Great stuff once again. Bait Music with the double kill. Lex finds a second as well, and it's still a one point game between these two squads. Much closer this time around. Can they keep it up though? And they're going to continue to go back and forth, man. M2RK and Botch guys for trade yet again in the middle of the map. These smoke nades making those long lines of sight pretty much impossible to use. So that sniper, as good as it is, you got to be able to see the enemy to be able to shoot him. So smoke's really effective of a counter. Still a close game here, and we're tied up, sneaky. And as I say that, Eternity breaks it open. Two more there. Yeah, I mean, Bape Music doing a really good job in this game. Huge 3k from him on his own so far in this game. Really being a big contributor for his team. And we, we like to talk about Luckin. We like to talk about uh, Buckhauser. But this man is really doing work for his team at the moment. Export EU is still down two kills. But the fights just keep on going. But slowly the... Fights are now going in the way of Export EU as uh, SKSJ are now finding all of these players. Oh, great stuff there. Close the distance. SKSJ, M2RK, finds two in a row. Copies, finds two of his own, equalizes it out. We'll talk about star power on the side of Eternity. Each one of these players have had so many moments where they find doubles, where they find triples. And it just seems like this squad of Eternity 2... They trust each other, man. They know that they can hit those shots as Botch Kosver hits the snipe from the distance, copies, closes it, and Bait Music finds a third. That's another wipe for Eternity 2. Yep. And 16 to 21. Eternity 2 still. Oh my god, SKSJ with the LR does hit some nice shots, but still the lead isn't shrinking here. For the side of Export EU, so far they're still struggling to try and string these uh, these kills up, especially on their sake of the map. But now the kills are actually just down, uh, down to two. But still, it is Eternity in the lead. One bad fight, and it is still gonna be Eternity. But EU has a chance. EU definitely has a chance. Twenty-two to twenty-four minutes left on the clock. It's a one-point game. Make it two. Eternity great on this mg and their teamwork their shot calling it is on point you can see their focus as a squad that's why they're tearing up this eu team when it comes down to these team fights a two-point game now eternity at 25 m2rk from the top rope beautifully done does get traded out by bait music sliding s gauge good on the finish there and it's still close here the action is high the octane is high the pace is unstoppable right now is eternity with these smokes down they are looking for the close range fight sneaky and from across the map lex with a nade shot beautifully done closing the gap now <laughs> trying to get the better of eternity but it's still so Ooh. back and forth the great shot from lex it has to be Lex. It has to be him getting them the lead, but oh, really good trade from Bakowser, and he's just gonna chill out in this smoke and try to recover some HP. Gonna try to at least dodge some of these nades, some of these mines. They can't throw away any of these lives just yet. It's still, in reality, just a two-point lead up until that point. But Kowser gets a kill. And now this is going to be Eternity looking for the closer as they're approaching 50. Uh, I mean, closer than Export EU at the moment right now. But it is pretty damn close. At it is just one squad wipe away and the lead is gone. The lead is 
pretty much annihilated. You know, just two points separating these two star-studded squads and two minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Red team now watching around the right side. Green team trying not to get isolated, but the impulse nades are out, closing the gap. Meeting them on the high ground, M2RK gets the jump onto one as SK finds one, M2RK finds a second, and finds a third. That's a wipe for x 4 gu and just like that, Sneaky, they're in the lead. Yep. And x 4 gu the long game finally works out for them. Them in the lead at the moment, M2RK looking... To give Export EU the lead at the moment, it's going to be him and Lex kind of wrapping around on towards the right side of the map as three at the moment. And if they can find any significant damage, that's going to be a jump in immediately. Wow. Great stuff from M2RK. Lasers him down from afar. A necessary kill. He's down low on HP, though, so needs to regen. His teammates buying him some time as SK from the distance. Finds one with the LR. M2RK follows it up. Export EU. They've got the lead. Four points separating these two squads in a minute 30 on the clock. M2RK, lots of damage down. Bit music beautifully done. The follow-up from Copy is good. Copies, finds another, and Bosch Kosver off the edge. Unfortunate, x 4 gu still in the lead, but just by three sneaky and a minute 15 left on the clock. This is so tight. Yep, and neither team can really take this one at the moment. Eternity, they can just get a simple squad wipe, and that would be them back in the picture. But x EU now they're playing their side of the map, kind of playing Eternity's game, kind of playing that runaway at the moment as they cannot risk the lead losing on towards the other side. Maybe they can even uh, kind of use two players as bait and just have one player run away Maybe. as fast as possible, but Copies is going in. Oh, he's in, and he is finding one. M2RK responds. 35 to 38. x Borg still in the lead. 35 seconds left on the clock here. Botch finds one. M2RK responds. Three points. Two points separating the two squads. Eternity looking for more. Cleans it up. There's only one frag separating these two teams, and there's X4 25 seconds left on the clock. x Borg needs to chill. Eternity needs to turn it on up. 20 seconds left, Sneaky. and to get on the ledge. Possible right now. That's not the best spot. get on the ledge. Uh, on the left side, though. 40-40. It's tied up. 10 seconds left on the clock now. Oh. Eternity take the lead. Oh, Hold my on. God. Bait Music finds three in a row. Eternity at 42-40. They have to stay under. To they have to stay under. They have to stay they under. They to. can't get jumped Great on with the right smoke. now. Eternity 2. They do oh. it. 43 to 40. In the last couple of seconds, they bring it all the way back. Eternity 2. Take map 1. Man, x -Borg, they really thought they could play the long game in that first map. But unfortunately, no is going to be the answer to that situation for them. And uh, wow, Eternity. I mean, they pushed it at the very, very last second. And they got the uh, that close of a score that they could just turn it around right back in their way. And I think x you they got surprised. And just like I said, they could have just played the ledge on the top of the teleporter there. Yeah. That could have been a way easier spot for them considering it is more closed off. And the other team has to spend, I think, at least uh, two impulse nades to try and discover where you are. And then just to get there in the first place. Absolutely. I think... Uh, there was, like you were mentioning, you play that passive game, but if you play it for almost too long, they know where you are, they're gonna get that jump on you, you kinda have to get active, right? Either get on out of there, or start fighting them, because if they get the jump on you and you do nothing in response, that is exactly what happens. Export EU getting caught off guard there, getting flipped on their heads in the last couple of seconds, bro. That's got to be heartbreaking for them. But Eternity too, man. They're here to play. Let's go. You know what I mean? Like, up against your number one of the tournament, like, that, that's that got to feel good for Eternity too. Yeah, definitely. That's for sure. So Eternity going to take the first map of this best of three. So... It is going to be a bit troubling for the side of Export Giyu, who really Oof. wants to get something started in this game. Yeah, scary, dude. Export Giyu, you're, you're titans of the arena. Potentially, you know, on track to be knocked out in the semifinals. What a story for sure. Of course, it is a best of three, meaning we've got a map two on the way. But past that, man, it's a single elim, so... We are heading into tournament life for x -Borg EU and uh, to see who will get into the grand finals up against our x -Borg NA team, man. What a story for sure. You don't say uh, x -Borg is, uh, you know, on the back foot a lot when it comes to these situations. So I would say uh, Eternity definitely on one of these uh, tears that they can go through. Maybe they're on 
a really good streak. So maybe if they can just continue uh, going into momentum here, they can maybe get away with the same stuff. But no way, Export EU, they're not going to let that slide at all. So Eternity has to really be on point for our second match. Absolutely. I'm excited to watch it, to say the least. And of course, we hope you all are as well. We want to shout out our main sponsors, though. Brave for making this all possible. Swissborg as well. And Community Gaming um, as the official tournament platform for the Extreme Championship Series. Of course, these players mm -hmm. are playing for $20,000 over the course of a couple of months for EVIO alone. Tons of other titles. And if you want to get involved today, head on over to ev.io sign up on community gaming and start competing today man you might just end up in this situation against export you yourself who knows man but what a close game to say the least and map two on the way of course we'll be heading to momentum and uh yeah geez dragon temple crazy map um we've seen it played so many different ways just today yeah i mean even uh uh, even momentum, kind of uh, crazy as well. There's a whole lot of pillars, a whole lot of cover that they can work with. So I would say, uh, yeah, it's going to have to be, you know, the exact same plays from uh, these players. So I would expect, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, maybe a closeout from the side of Eternity to maybe surprise everyone with a grand finals appearance. But uh, yeah, I would I would say that... Um, Export EU, they should really step up in the map uh, in the second map because that, that first map uh, was not really the best for them. I didn't really expect them to play uh, this passive uh, going into this first map. Yeah, absolutely, what a good time indeed. I can't wait to I can't wait to watch what happens, and of course we're gonna get the action delivered right to us right now as we're heading on into game two between the team in green, which is Export EU, currently on their back foot versus Eternity 2 in the red. Currently in the lead in the series and in the game 1-0 and with 7 minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Sneaky, this is a scary place to be if you're export EU. Absolutely. Yeah, no, you're seeing the action start off here. And of course, as Eternity 2, they got a cross map kill to start things off, but Xborg, they didn't let that get to them. Flipped it on its head. Two to one right now. Copies trying to get back into the action, impulsing across the field. And Bosch Kazver, what a great turnaround, even though they're down a player. Finds two in a row as Copies closes the distance and puts Eternity 2 back into the lead. Beautifully done for Eternity 2, Sneaky. Yeah, keeping up the pressure now, Export EU. Trying to bait a fight through this archway, right? If you can make some presence here, bait music from the side cleans up S gauge. That's beautiful, but you could see what Export EU was trying to do, right? They're trying to create some presence, draw the enemy through the arch, and kill them when they come around. However, Eternity not buying into it. Botch Casver tearing up the rest of this EU squad, and it's going back and forth, but Eternity too keep finding these frags in situations that they shouldn't be able to bait music coming out on top of m2rk that's something you don't see every day known for his tracking ability in multiple games export eu has a stacked squad right now eternity 2 we kept talking about this it's a david versus goliath situation some would say that and eternity 2 they're currently in the lead they're making it happen their cinderella story is being completed as we speak nine to seven right now What a match so far. They're slowing it down, though. Xborg, S-Cage, trying to keep his wits about him with the LR here. He wants to take a long-range fight, do some damage, so the rest of his team can follow it up. But a great shot. Patient there. Watches the arc, meets it halfway, shuts it down. S-Cage, good on the shot. Lex, copies, M2RK, tying things up. Back and forth, these smoke nades have been so good. And it's still a one-point game, Sneaky. And a pretty troubling one here for the side of Export EU being down already this deep in the game. And yeah, I would ease. I would not. I would say, you know, Export still at least keeping it a bit close in this one. But they need to start taking the pace, start being the ones uh, leading the charge for this one and make Eternity play their style of EV.io, but so far we're not seeing it because uh, every time, every turn, 
that we are seeing Eternity. They are just winning fights again and again and again. Yeah, again and again and again is correct. Eternity 2 just does such a good job in these skirmishes. When it gets tough, when it gets complicated, when it gets confusing and crazy, Eternity 2 seem to thrive. Their tracking is on point, and these two, Copy and Bosch Kosver, always stuck together at the hip. They do such a good job operating together with their player bait music, usually on a tangent somewhere. Spotting out the mine, straying clear of it. Mm -hmm. Jumping straight up into the sky, ready to take the fight mid-air, and the tracking for Copy is better. And to Arcane, SK Zote, they return for two. Yep, and uh, they're gonna go for more Eternity 2, starting to fall in this one, but they're still kind of fighting back, just like you said, the teamwork really coming in clutch for them at the moment. When there is a kill from one of the members here of x there is gonna be an, an Eternity 2 player jumping in immediately, and so far... That's a really hard strategy to deal with because, once again, it's kind of in the vein of uh, just constantly fighting to keep the lead. Absolutely. And what do you do up against pressure? So, f such overwhelming pressure, really. Export EU, they're used to being the ones putting the pressure on teams. Eternity 2, though, they are not allowing that to happen. M2RK, we know him for his tracking. We know him for his mechanical prowess. We're seeing it on display right before our eyes. A beautiful double putting x in a better position than they were just moments ago, but is it enough as Copies returns with one M2RK on a streak here, but denied by Copies and Bait Music as Eternity 2 open up that lead yet again. Yep, and Eternity 2 once again just in the lead, and you're going to see them just playing the teleporter as much as possible, trying to camp it, trying to get the flank going, but I think the mines are just going to come through, so instead, they're going to go for some face-to-face -face battles, and so far, not much teams can actually do this, but they're kind of getting to, uh, going toe-in-toe -to -toe with Eternity, or with x EU at the moment, and somehow some of these fights are going their way, they're, they're just throwing everything oh. at them. Yeah, really well done from copies, just breaking the neck of that enemy player and it's a strategy that's as old as time if you've got the tp if you've got an impulse you run at a player tp behind them make them hit that 180 and have your teammate help you out in a great 2v1 situation there eternity 2 man we keep talking about it but they play so well off of each other and as mechanically gifted as some of these players like lex and m2rk and you know everyone on xborg really as mechanically gifted as they are eternity 2 just works so well together as a team man it is so good to watch yeah and it has been the teamwork so far that's uh been kind of the main uh main ingredient in the entire playstyle that they have at the moment and it has been working for these first two maps in dragon temple but also in momentum as well and now we're just gonna see the push and what but once again copies he has the shotgun that means it's going to be an advantage with these close fights, but not just that, his team just all around him. Right, keeping the pressure up, no matter the weapon, no matter the range, Eternity 2 are ready to fight. And as SK finds one, Eternity 2 returns and they wipe the x -Borg team. Eternity 2, man, these guys are on fire, and we see you in the Twitch chat too, saying this is Goliath versus Goliath. It's really what it feels like. Eternity 2... Man, they are strong. And if x EU were our top contenders, we might just have, uh, you know, another top dog right before our eyes, man. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and Eternity 2 starting to approach the 50 point of the game. And, and they could just close this one out and maybe have a handshake with the grand finalist in just a short while. 10 kills left and it is just looking good for them at the moment. And... Yeah, x EU still cannot keep up with the teamwork that Eternity 2 has. So good, and they're putting on a masterclass if you're watching this and you're like, damn, this looks like a lot of fun, ev.io. Free to play any browser, and you can get involved in this tournament. This is the first qualifier of three before we head into the championship weekend. Of course, part of the Extreme Championship Series brought to you by x brought to you by Brave, Swiss Borg, and Community Gaming overall. Get involved today, make it happen and rewrite history your own way. Eternity 2, 46 to 35 right now. Export EU on their tournament life. And it's looking like Eternity 2 will be heading to our grand final, Sneaky. These guys are unstoppable. Yep. And last one. That's going to be the cap off at least 38 and 50. 
Export EU might not be the best showing from them, but Eternity 2 at the moment are on fire. So we are going to expect a really good grand final challenge because uh, Eternity 2, uh, they got to show doubt in the semifinal. Absolutely, man. They showed out for sure against players that we know are history. Like, they're really good. They're veterans of the scene. They've won a lot of stuff like you're talking mm -hmm. about. Export EU, though, that... It, it, you know they just gotta get better man eternity 2 is here and they are here to play so moving on to the grand finals up against exborg and a their north american counterparts what a matchup there man mm -hmm. such storied names and eternity 2 if they keep it up they might just be our victors today man who really knows yeah I mean, who really knows, but uh, we are going to know in just a bit, guys. So shout out to all the sponsors. Once again, Xbox, Swiss Pork, Community Gaming, and the Brave Browser, of course. Guys, we are going to go into our grand finals in just a bit. So don't go anywhere when we come back. More EV.io action coming at you. Don't go anywhere. Express his leaders. A bit. Yeah, I think so. Might get big. So that would be massive. And so it's a mirror of Buffield and mirror off of Brinrold and Amrock on exactly the same grade, but one is nature, the other one is air. Widow has the upper hand on the other one. Well, but I mean, also might have a little bit because he's playing the air versus yeah. he's the counter element. So we'll oh. see if he can capitalize on it. Will it be enough? Lolomi is first this time, so we know he likes to be second, but he probably has a good strategy for being first too. Yeah. Both lining, so. Some. It's interesting that he drops that one here because obviously. Well, okay, yeah, you, it's hard to take it back with the nature, so that seems unlikely. Poof. So, the affix, like. Wolves wanted to play the earth and the dark, but the, the, oh no, he just played the. Yeah, I'm not sh Ah, because he, he wanted to play it so he could actually take. Yeah, he so wanted, he wanted to, retake to play the his nature. earth, but then it got too big. <laughs> yep. Uh, so first kind of a quick play oops. that we see here. Yeah, oopsies. Lolomi just... Uh, Going for it, uh, controlling the full board, full board and the Trinity. Yeah. And uh, but the thing is, it's still kind of laying some groundwork for also so this turn. No, yeah, yes, this this will be calm, but like if he plays his leader in B three, then yeah doesn't create any affinity. Uh, he really wants to keep his leader problem. We had a dream five years ago, and look what happened. Swiss 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 Raised $52 million from 24,000 individuals from the four corners of the world. There it is. Hello and welcome back to the Extreme Championship Series. My name is Nick Rock. With me is Jim Bosco. We are going to go into our Grand Finals in just a bit. It is going to be Xborg NA versus Eternity 2 in at this one and it's going to be a very spicy game to say the least. And we're going to have for our third and fourth place matchup, I think we're going to have Narn. Maybe export EU duke it out in the third, fourth matchup, but it really depends on them if they want to play it out. But the, now the real match can start best of five final so it's gonna be a long format and um we're gonna know who is the best team at the moment absolutely man 
best of five is just, you know, like, really, you get to establish who truly is the best. Best of three is great. You win one, you set yourself up for success, and maybe you carry that momentum one more match. Cool. Best of five? Oh, that thing can get long. That's an endurance battle. So, we've mm -hmm. got Exborg North America versus Eternity 2. It's been an endurance match so far, and of course, these players have been putting on a show for us, winning up against our favorites to take it all in Export EU in our last semifinal match. What a showing that was in Eternity 2. Really, um, you know, kind of the dark horse so far in this first qualifier. But for all the teams that have been eliminated, it is just the first qualifier. There are three total, and then a championship weekend, um, all for just EVIO for $20,000 overall. So... There is a lot on the line here. And, of course, we've got an MVP, Sneaky. Who's it going to be? Oh, it's Bape Music. I mean, to be fair, uh, some people in the chat have been saying that Bape is the true MVP of this uh, this Eternity series. And he has been doing super well so far, closing out the kills for his team, kind of top fragging. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just being that overall offense for yeah. the Eternity 2 squad. Yeah, we watched many a time where Bait Music, either equipped with the LR, but more often equipped with the MG, just close range, running it down, and tracking like it's nobody's business. Um, we talked about mechanical skill and some of the best players in the world being on Export EU, but still, the teamwork shining through of Eternity 2, the way they played off of each other was just stellar, and I gotta say, that's what I think brought them to this point in the tournament so grand finals man let's take a look at the bracket see their journey so far and really for a day of competition this has been stacked to say the least and uh here we are man in grand finals after after just a couple of matches yep and there it is it's so close man you can you can mm -hmm. grab it <laughs> the champion spot eternity 2 and the xborg na Turn T2, man, on a journey. And apparently, I'm trying to uh, I tried to summon information from the fellow Filipinos in the chat and uh, not make <laughs> it too obvious. So I just, uh, <laughs> just put it in, uh, in Tagalog as much as possible. But apparently, this guy has been... Um, uh, this guy named uh, Bait Music has actually been, you know, he's been quite aware. Uh, he's been quite uh, the guy making his name for himself in the EV.io scene. And he's been... Uh, a really good uh, aim guy. He's from the aim training community, actually. So he's more of the wow. uh, more of the aim labs guy. But he has movement as well. So I'm overall confused. But Bradley is a god, man, guys. I just literally left for like uh, one or two months, and all of a sudden, there's a lot more players here in uh, in EV. Yeah, I love that, man. And I love that people are seeing that. Hey, we can translate our mm -hmm. skills from aim training into this game. It's like obviously. It's a lot easier to take your skills from aim training into a game like this where there's little recoil, you, you know, it's uh, hit scan, it's not necessarily projectile, there's no, you know, it's not like Counter-Strike where you're going to have to, like, you know, attack FPS shoot. No, this is very much lenient in terms of ammo, lenient in terms of your movement. You have a lot of options. So if you can do the crazy thing, do the crazy thing. Go flying, mm -hmm. do the double impulse snipe, do whatever it is, like, make it happen. And that's what, that's the fun part, like how creative these people get man so um been awesome to watch so far grand finals someone was saying in the chat it feels like the video speed is x2 and i'm such a bad fps player when i see them it's like yeah man the, the, these guys are doing some crazy stuff consistently yep. you know what i mean like at the highest level so crazy yeah, and what I like about EV.io as well, it, it is pretty customizable in terms of the HUD. So you can have your own uh, custom HUD in this game, and you can have a different crosshair. Uh, as long as you do have, um, if, you, if you do visit one of those websites that you know can just make your crosshair transparent, and you know just upload it, mm -hmm. and bam, you have your own crosshair from uh, your respective game, and uh, you can fix the zooms as well from um, when you right click or ADS with the gun. Uh, some players. I think most players do prefer no zoom at all, so they just ADS on the gun because um, the only thing that they're looking for is the accuracy from the ADS. Right. So, uh, yeah, you're going to see a lot of ADSing in this game, but it's not really too much of a zoom because uh, they're just like putting their gun right in front of them to just make it a lot more uh, accurate, as we, mm -hmm. did, we would say. Yeah. 
those sprays are important and of course like you're mentioning if you need a converter to take your sensitivity from game to game there are plenty available mm -hmm. online they make it super easy um so pop on in today ev.io in your browser make it happen and if you're looking for a browser sneaky where should they go do you know of a browser they could use yep brave it is the browser my friend so make sure you guys do check out the brave browser it is the best browser in the market at the moment if you do want or if you do interact with crypto a lot so it does have some built-in uh, crypto features so guys please do check out brave at brave.com forward slash uh question mark ref vbg 689 and if you can type that out good job my friend and uh, <laughs> here we go in the game yeah, absolutely. We've got our grand finals between Eternity 2 and Export NA from our first qualifier here in the Extreme Championship Series, powered by Brave, organized by Export. Of course, shout outs to everyone involved on this tournament. This is a best of five grand finals showing between Export NA and Eternity 2 in the green, with them currently in the lead as well as Export NA closed to a one point game, still seven minutes on the clock. Yep, and still plenty of time. Only a one kill lead here for Eternity so far. Xborg and a now kind of uh, the ones chasing in this game, and Eternity too. This is just uh, their normal thing. They're just going to sit back at their respective uh, covers here, and they're just going to snipe from their end of the map, and it worked for EU. Might It might work for Xborg and a Yeah, good snipe, good LR, big brain poppy beautifully done finding one onto copies and this is something that we've seen him do many a time as finds bait music mid-air but the spray from bait music the tracking on point comes out on top and eternity two currently in the lead eight to five as botch cosver finds number eight mm -hmm. and eternity looking to just stretch the lead now in there they are in the thick of it my friend nine to eight so far export and a Kind of catching up thanks to the LR of Big Brain Poppy, who has been really good with that weapon, honestly. I think the entire day, uh, he could be the best LR player that we have seen so far. And SKSJ, we did see the LR from him as well, but it was not his best performance. But uh, every time Big Brain Poppy does have that in his pocket, it is just going to be some really good shots from him. Yeah, absolute nuisance with that gun. 13 to 11 is Big Brain Poppy. Finds number 12, finds number 13, copies returns, breaks the tie up there, and copies finds two in a row. It is so back and forth, like you were mentioning, Big Brain Poppy is a nutter with that rifle. And if he can find those chunks of damage across the map, then his team can follow it up. Zeno, beautifully done with the sniper on the right side. Dropping back now, needs to go and help out his team. They're engaging in a skirmish in the middle of the map, and he's trying to position properly with Big Brain Poppy on his back here. The, th the trio have grouped on up. And the green squad in the middle of the map, taking control here, taking the fight, close range. And it looks like, just like that, Eternity 2, able to find one as Big Boy returns with two. It goes back and forth. It's tied. They come out of that skirmish 17 to 17 at five minutes left on the map. Yep. And now it is going to be a tied game. Xborg looking for that lead. And yes, they do get it from Xeno Sniper, which I think they picked it up from the earlier skirmish that they had. And now they have the advantage in terms of the special weapons, but the shotgun's going to be pulled out by Big Boy. And he gets his second one as well. This melts copies and is going to try to get away from any of these fights. Instead, he's going to try to at least kind of refresh the spawns on some of these weapons here. Ooh, good shot there. Gets on out. If you miss it reposition if you stay in the same spot you're gonna get jumped and that's just kind of knowledge that will come into play in any fps game of course evio doing a great job and a beautiful shot from big boy from the distance calculates the arc meets him halfway and shuts him down export na in the lead by three now with 420 on the clock yep and there it is export na kind of uh equalizing the pace here on towards both sides and it seems like eternity 2 has kind of caught a snag before the halfway point of this game and export and a they somehow find the lead and if they can keep this lead going and just keep on fighting they could just end this game early possibly they could they really could the export and a have busted it open they're running away with the lead as copies finds two back to back eternity Botch Casver here. Great shot. 
gets on out here xeno coming around that is beautiful from botchkazer handling this 1v2 like it's nobody's business big brain poppy though returns and he gets traded on out x morgan a still in the lead still a six point game here but eternity two they're finding some kills and they're able to string them together slowly they're closing that gap sneaky it's really anybody's game still yep X Morgan A though, they're closer to 50 than they are Eternity at the moment. And they are just gonna look for the possible finish in this one. But Eternity 2, they're making it really difficult. They're still playing their kind of turtleish style. But they are now exploding all together in this one. Great mind placement from the side of Xborg, but they're not gonna get anyone. Instead, it is gonna be Bok going down. Wrapping around the right side here, copies with the MG trying to secure this location. Instead, gonna group up with this team as Zeno hand cannon shuts down bait music. Copies kind of in a tough spot. He's too far away to do anything for his team really, and can't seem to find a grip of the situation here. With the rest of his team now grouped up, they're wrapping around the right side. Copies gets tagged. That's gonna let him stall for a little bit here. As Big Boy and the rest of the Red Squad look like they're heading to the skies. Big Brain Hop Poppy opens up this fight with the first frag as Botch Casver and Copies returns for two more. X Morgan A still in the lead by six, and that's gonna be Botch Casver off the side. Expo Grenade just looking for the jugular at this point. 40 points, 10 kills left, 10 chances for Eternity to get back into this game. But Eternity so far now losing grip in this situation in Dragon Temple. But now they're trying to get back into this one. Instantly they do get three, but still Expo Grenade. They're dwindling the lead. Zeno still has the sniper in his pocket, so he can still create some instant points for his team. Yeah, this is getting close again, man. Six points still, 35 to 41. Export Grenade, they've got the lead, but for how much longer? And a minute 25 left on the clock. Long range MG shots, not connecting for bait music. He's wrapping around the right side, cuts through the middle, grabs the grenade launcher, nailing them with the MG shot, but Zeno, just better, crowned the MVP versus the other MVP, and Zeno comes out on top in that situation. Export and A running away with the lead. 43 to 35, a minute left on the clock here. X Morgan A are looking good. Bait music, he's got a vengeance, man. He's executing it as Eternity 2. They do get a wipe down onto X Morgan A. But with 50 seconds left, man. Sneaky, what's gonna happen here? Not much time for the boys over at uh, Xborg, or rather from Eternity's side. At the moment, they have such a big lead to come back into. And 35 seconds left on the clock and they can just let it run out but now they're not even gonna allow it actually but eternity 2 with a, a suddenly end life in this game they could still maybe come back if they could uh -oh. just string these kills but they have to figure out where the spawn is on towards the other side and they find all three on towards the right side but uh -oh. let us see 15 seconds left on export and they're looking for the finish yeah beautifully done export and drawing them out to overextend just a bit then they pop up with that sniper find two more frags export and a they're at number 49 here with three seconds left on the clock it looks like they're gonna find Damn. number 50 export and a take the first match of this grand finals best of five yep that's gonna be the first notch of the best of five first game goes in the way of export and a and now they only need to win two to win the rest of the series and get that first prize and get that qualifier in towards that main tournament but Xborg and A, they just look good for the entire time. I mean, Eternity 2, they had the lead uh, in one situation, but all of a sudden, Zeno just exploded at that very moment as, as well as his teammates. And yeah, they just straight up took over the game. Yeah, it's tough, really, really tough, but, you know, crown the MVP for mm -hmm. a reason, and you saw them get into a 1v1, you know, uh, Bape Music versus Zeno. Zeno came out on top. That was a little symbolic you know what i mean like he may have won that 1v1 but it was more about sending the message like hey we're taking this one home so you know game one of this best of five going to the north american export squad definitely a nail biter but with that said we've got you know it's a best of five a lot more time to settle who will be yep. your victors in this first qualifier sneaky so still tons of action to come longer format could be uh, more of a benefit here for Eternity, who really does like to play the entire game of EV.io slower than the usual person. But Xborg and A kind of preventing that from happening so far 
uh, in our series. So I would expect they would keep the pace here on momentum, especially since, you know, jump ins are not as often uh, seen in momentum. Instead, it is the, you know, the three man pushes or the three man impulses going into the opponent and tr just try to see if you can contain the map and try to. Uh, uh, fort up those uh, TPs as much as possible, but momentum is going to be an interesting decider on whether or not uh, which team is going to be match point or is it going to be 1-1. Uh, one, one. Absolutely, man. What a scary situation to be in. Of course, though, you've made it to the grand finals. You've already defeated Xborg EU. Xborg NA, man, just another one on the list. Um, but for Eternity yeah. 2, maybe they're feeling the heat here in the grand finals. Of course, more power to them they've made it a long way but of course if you're in the chat and you're supporting one of these two teams let us know let the teams know they can use your support if you've got the export na team winning let them know and if you've got eternity 2.0 taking it all and securing it in this first qualifier let them know as well with four thousand dollars on the line mm -hmm. man there is a lot to fight for here yeah, a whole lot to fight for here, that is for sure. And uh, not just a qualifying spot, it's kind of like bragging rights, right, for uh, for this week. Like, who's the better team for now, and uh, who's going to be the one coming out on top? And uh, not just that, I mean, uh, that's going to be a bit easier for the team that actually qualifies, because he'd just be watching the other teams try to qualify as much as possible, get that uh, early knowledge in, and try to study these teams as much as possible. Because, uh, surprisingly, uh, in this game of EV.io, studying is actually... Uh, one of the teams or one of the things that you have to do, especially considering that you have to punish uh, some really, really bad uh, mistakes from either side of uh, the server here. So I would expect right. these teams to really be uh, on their toes going into the grand finals. Not just that, uh, you know, I mean, getting the first, uh, the very, very first qualifier or the very, very first um, seed going into the uh, main tournament, you know, uh, kind of a breather for the team that makes it. Absolutely. You know, you can kind of take your time, watch the rest of the competition, start developing strategies as soon as you know you're locked in for that. So, yeah, there's a lot mm -hmm. more to it. Um, but, you know, opportunities abound for teams that haven't made it yet. They've got two more qualifiers, and yes, those are also single elimination. But with this many chances, if you can't make it in at that point, I don't know what to tell you, bro. You know what I mean? Maybe it just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> Plenty of shots, though. You can make it in. It's free to play, free to compete. Uh, all around the board, and there's a lot on the line. So make your name. Start mm -hmm. writing esports history today. Get on EV.io. And if you're not into EV.io, there's tons of competition, tons of games in the Extreme Championship Series powered by Brave or not organized by Export. You can check them all out on communitygaming.io and get signed up on the same site all in one. Real easy, man. Yeah, and I think we're, uh, the map number two is just going to be in and around the corner here momentum is gonna be that uh possible possible decider whether or not export na can make it all the way to match point or is it gonna be a one-to-one -one? it's gonna be an interesting time to try and see whether or not who's the better team at the moment but we're already starting in this one and export na on the green side this time and eternity 2 on red and export jesus already with the lead xeno is relentless relentless and i love that we swapped into the game and we see big boy mid-air gunning someone down from above that's what we're talking about man impulse teleports you got to get creative and on a map like momentum you got to keep your eyes on the skies they could be anywhere you know copies bait music all going back and forth it is a bloodbath in eternity to finally take the lead here in the first couple of minutes of the game yep and still eternity two that is kind of their thing. They get that early game lead and just try to play a cat and mouse at this point while they do shoot back at the enemy. But Export NA is not going to allow that to happen. Still, the aggression coming in from them while Big Brain Poppy is just shooting from the back lines really is a deadly combination, especially for a map like Momentum where there is a lot of corners and a lot of long corridors and LR can really do some damage. Absolutely, Big Brain Poppy. So accurate, but copies even better. Gets traded out by Big Boy, but... This back and forth nature of the game is exactly what we were talking about. Such a close skirmish between these two squads. Bait Music finally finding Big Boy and that smoke closing, allowing the teams to close the distance and allowing Eternity to use this MG, man. Bait Music, MVP for a reason. He's firing back on all cylinders and he's coming. He's coming for the win, man. 10 to 10 right here with 6 minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock. And he's the one that is most relied on for the side of Eternity 2. MVP for a reason. He's the janitor for his team, cleaning every single kill up 
for the side of Eternity 2 so far. Export Gene, they lose the lead, but still, they're gonna keep it close, so it's not much of a problem to get back into the game, oh. and Big Boy already going in. Yeah, Big Boy with the shotgun did a ton of damage there, and his teammates are able to clean it up. That's exactly the kind of synergy that you need to make it to the Grand Finals. And, of course, you're seeing both teams now regrouping three on three. Opposite sides of the map, 13 to 13 is tied on up. Big Boy peeks out for just a moment, gets lasered, and realizes they're going to start aggressing. So, hops up way up into the sky so that he can get the jump with that shotgun. And it's a beautiful set play, but it's not enough. Still locked in at 15-15. There it is. Exborg and A. They have the lead, but they're really not fighting for it too much. I mean, Big Boy is going to get taken down, but Zeno... Big Brain Poppy, different idea for them so far. Big Boy right. just wanting to keep on fighting. Can't blame the man. That's just in his entire style. As a player, mm -hmm. that's just Big Boy. Even if you play him in normal servers, you're just going to see him just flying constantly all over the place. Trying to get the kills. But at the moment, he is going to be the entry for the team. But Eternity, man, it's just a back and forth. And I think this is kind of like counter to the strat uh, of Eternity at the moment. They do get two kills, but Big Brain Poppy getting that one kill is just keeping the deficit super small. And I think... Exborg might go for something big in the final part of the game, just like how Eternity did in that uh, in that one game. Absolutely. I think what you established there was exactly right. They're going back and forth, and Exborg's doing a really good job of getting the trades that are necessary to keep it tight. They're doing less of a good job at that right now as Botch Casper finds two in a row unanswered, and the lead continues to grow here, but... If export, they can keep it close. They can keep it a two, three point game. Exactly. They can turn it up at the last couple of seconds, take the fight, take the lead, and then maybe hunker down somewhere. But Eternity 2 right now with four minutes and 10 seconds left on the clock. They're looking good, and they're looking to maintain this lead here. Jumping around the map, establishing control down onto Copy as they're trying to help him out. As bait music and copies find one apiece, Eternity 2 just continue to open up this lead. Yep. And... Ooh, bit of a bit of a slip up on towards bait music there, running into the trip mine. But I think it's gonna be a okay. Eternity, they're just gonna reset, and Exborg gonna try to capitalize. But oh, the SMG is it gonna work? No, it won't. That's actually the MG, just the MG. Copies really doing such a great job in this game. He's been doing some of his entries as well here for Eternity too. But so far, he's been doing a great job. It's kind of the stretching the lead for his team. And Bakauser, we are now seeing him show up. Last game, we didn't really see too much of him. But now for Eternity 2, they want to shine as well. And it is happening in momentum. Absolutely. The Botch Kasver and the rest of the team, they just do this back and forth. This ebb and flow. Eternity 2 works so well together as a team. As soon as they're low, they are out of there and another member of the team pops up like the head of a Hydra. You cut one off and two more sprout up. Bait music, three in a row. Eternity 2, 11 point lead right now, Sneaky. They're looking so damn good in map two of this best of five grand finals. Yup. Look at this, Eternity just wanting to get closer to 50 at this point, but the X-Board, they're going to try to fight back. They're on the halfway point in terms of the kills as well, but the time is of the essence. They have to get 10 kills in a blink of an eye or else it is going to be big trouble for them at LR. Big Bane Poppy, once again, the man with the long range, but can he finish it off? But Kowser is going to get tagged. And Eternity, okay, I mean, they're going to be in a bit of hot water in the game. x kind of closing in the distance. Yeah. It's just such a menace with that ranged weapon, forcing the fight to go close range. It's kind of where Eternity likes it, though. You know, x if they are able to keep the distance, Big Brain Poppy, boom, finds two in a row. Beautifully done. Botch Kazer sends himself in there like Eternity have been doing. x playing their own game now, closing the lead. It was 11 at one point. Now it's six. Eternity still up here as Botch Kazer finds 40 for the red team. They're looking for more, but Exborg NA showing signs of life. Eternity 2 only need eight more points to tie things up. Yep. And there it is. Eight points for Eternity 2. In terms of the kills, Exborg NA is this comebackable for the boys, but they are going to get that one kill, but that's going to be two in return. Only Bake gets it and decides, Zeno, you should be playing for your life. But Bape through the teleporter. Great usage of it. No mine located on the other side. And that means Eternity, they could take over the game with the skills. And look at them. You peek around the corner. There is three members staring right at you. 
It's a brutal place to be in, big boy, with a brutal shot there around the left side. Down on Zakapis. Is it too little? Too late. 46 to 38. Eternity 2 in the lead. Big boy doing his best to try and find these picks. Heading to the skies, but it won't be plentiful there. As he's able to finish one off, it's still a 10-point difference for Eternity 2 in the lead now comfortably with 40 seconds left. Yeah, and I think Eternity 2 is just going to get the last two kills here. Not going to be a problem at all for them. Big Bang Poppy even going to be on low HP. And it's just going to be a slide in two kills later. They have the win. That's going to be the tie up in this game. And this is going to be really good for the series. Not going to be good for Xborg NA who were looking to get that second map. But all of a sudden, it just slipped right out of their hands. And that was just uh, really well played from the side of Eternity 2. They caught up in this game. But uh, Xborg NA, I mean, uh, that was uh, kind of a lot of mistakes from them in this second map especially. Yeah. Tough, really tough, and you can tell the endurance part of it or something must be going on here because x War Gen 8 generally doesn't slip up in that sense. Eternity 2 mm -hmm. kind of just find the holes in their defense constantly. You know, uh, they keep sending people into the face of x War Gen 8, always impulsing in. MG kill after MG kill, Botch Kazver cleaning it up, uh, Bape music cleaning it up, just really well done. I don't know. I don't... I don't like, I really don't even know what Xborg N8 messed up, but I could tell that something was not clicking like it was on the other map. Eternity 2 looked good. Tied up 1-1. It's the grand finals, man. Who knows what's going to happen next? We're heading into map 3, and I, I couldn't tell you who was going to take it. Both of them look good. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I mean, either team can really take it at the moment. Xborg and they are making their fair share of mistakes as well. But uh, some really well-played rounds, especially from the side of Eternity 2. I mean, this is the Eternity 2 that we saw that just beat uh, the last team in our bracket. And this is kind of more of their mojo, like maps like Momentum, where it is more closed. And uh, they can camp their lead a bit more. Mm -hmm. So Xborg and A, they're going to have to think about how are they going to enter the... Uh, area of the opponent here more often than usual because they're going to be the one pushing the line forward and eternity uh kind of just playing defense the entire time yeah we're gonna have to see how it plays out i want you know um export na like they they keep showing us such great signs of life especially when they can get a little streak going they pick up a sniper rifle and they have two people with the mg that sort of balance works out really well for them if they can't get set up like that though because eternity is just keep keeps up the pressure it keeps sending people impulsing in close range it seems like they can't get set up you know what i mean and they can't get into that flow so eternity maybe they're onto something and xborg maybe they you know adapt and overcome into map three take us into game four and we'll have to see what happens afterwards because in a best of five man you need three to win so we're going to a map four for sure <laughs> yep map number four i think is the option I mean, just in case, man, I mean, there's still a lot to prove uh, in between all of these teams at the moment. And I think map number three is going to be, if I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to find it, but my eyes are broken at the moment, I think. <laughs> it is Fractal. I mean, one one day we're going we're gonna to play Fractal. There it is. Yeah. Good guess. That was just a shot in the dark, bro. And uh, yeah. the shot somehow lands. And there it is. It is Fractal smoke. for map number three and this is the real test man this is the real test yeah. on how good you are at aiming in this game because it is just wide open space all over the place and just one big um one big pillar in the middle as like uh your your only cover in this situation absolutely yeah i it, i absolutely agree it's kind of like the de facto map yep. of this game so i'm excited to see how this it's one perfect. plays out <laughs> but it has its flaws definitely has its flaws Bo show let's see now action starting though eternity 2 into map 3 versus export na currently in the lead 43 but on a map like this it doesn't mean much it is a brawly map to say the least we're going to be seeing action non-stop flying through the air most likely as these players try their best to prove who's better as we head on into game four. Yep. And still, 
one for either team. They're playing for whoever wants to get match point at this point. Zeno wanting it a bit more at the moment. Six, six to six. Now they're just holding the platform side, waiting for the respawn. And trying to see if they can snipe some of these members out. They, there's usually spots where you can just catch a member out in the open by themselves. Yeah, exactly. If you overcommit to any one of these big moves... When you're looking at this map, Fractal, there's a couple of locations that you'll see have more traffic than others, right? As we approach them, I'll explain them as you see them. So here, on this left side of the map, there is a huge site of li uh, line of sight up onto that larger location where you're seeing currently people fly out of. That high ground will be the point of control for both of these teams. Everyone wants to go there. If you're not there, you're pretty much in a bad spot. And so you're going to see teams flying through the teleporter, flying through the air, just like that, as Zeno picks them out of the sky to try and get control of that location. x A, they're doing a really good job of playing two people on one side of the map and having their, um, having their sniper help out with support from the other side. So great strategy. They've repositioned now, and x A continue to hold this lead, 18 to 11. Yep. And still, plenty of time for Eternity 2 to get back into this game, but a tougher challenge here for x and NA is to just keep the lead as much as possible. That's why you do see, especially in 3v3s, a lot of smokes being used just to try to cancel out some of the angles here and try to expand the defense a bit, kind of uh, uh, fortify their side of the map and try to delay as much as possible. Just try to melt time and pick up those weapons all together here, but Big Bang Poppy, really good fights from x and A, just keeping the lead in their pocket, and look at that, not even a single person lost on their end, clean EV so far from x -Borg. Yeah, absolutely, they're doing a really good job on this map, we talk about strategies, and it being a classic map, a lot of experience, I'm sure, for both of these teams on this legendary map, 27 to 12, though, for x and A, Zeno, big boy, just tearing it up here. Impulsing and with a lot of confidence here. Eternity 2, they're looking to tear things back up. They find one on Zeno, find a second. Now that's a poppy. Can they find a third here? And yes, the support from Botch Casver is there for number 15 for Eternity 2. 16 to 30. Xborg looking to just expand their lead as much as possible here now they're twice as much kills as eternity 2 at the moment they're almost that at least so they are just looking to just finish off fractal and go into map number five possibly to cap off this entire series but still eternity 2 they're gonna try anyways they're still peaking as three they're not giving up these fights they're still playing like this game is still possible so maybe i don't know it's a far shot it's a long shot but it's a shot anyways it's a shot anyways, and if what are you, you know, you miss every shot that you don't take, and if they're not taking this one, what would they be, right? Eternity 2 now, still down by 15 points, but they are moving and grooving, and they're giving it a shot as Botch Kazver finds one out the big boy, Zeno, finds one across the map with an MG of mine, and Bait Music nades as he finds his demise, Zeno, on a tear in this map. And x -Borg looking dominant, man. Still a 15-point difference here. It's going to be tough, Sneaky, but Eternity, they're definitely trying. Yep. There it is. I mean, Eternity 2, they're still trying. They're still getting most of these kills at the moment, but the lead, I think it is going to be too big. x -Borg just expanding it as much as possible. A bit of BM as well from the NA squad. Trying to not even shoot the enemy at this point. But Big Boy gonna be in a bit of hot water. Just a bit of smoke, just a bit of mines. Just like I said, now it is their time to play the turtle style here. Oh, and a bit of an EV trick if you do. Uh, kind of impulse on that side of the map. You kind of get wedged between two walls and, uh, I don't know, you get a bit of cover to kind of get some HP back for you. Yeah, true. You can buy yourself some time while you're high up in the sky. Bait music and copies going back and forth here. X-Borg NA, man, 45, 46 make it to 29 of Eternity 2. X-Borg NA on a tear here. It's a best of five. We are in the grand finals, ladies and gentlemen, of qualifier number one, $4,000 on the line. X-Borg NA, three points away from securing game number three and taking us to the tournament life 
for Eternity 2. Will Exborg be the ones to secure the victory here in the Extreme Championship Series qualifier number one, or will Eternity 2 fire back and take us to game five? We will have to find out, but for now, Exborg and a 49 points, they're looking to make it 50 and looking to take us to game three as Exborg and a lock in game number two for themselves, game three in the series. We're heading into the rest of this grand final, Sneaky. They are looking good. Yeah, I mean, still a lot of possibilities going into this game. Map number three just concluded going in the way of the homies over at Export NA with the cleaner play. So far, every kill, every teamwork that we could see here really just uh, just going their way in, in the rest of these games. And Eternity 2, I mean, they're kind of falling behind in this one. I mean, as we are rolling through these maps, Export NA just keeps on getting stronger. They hit, they hit kind of a snag in game number two, but it feels like uh, they got themselves back in the running here in the finals and now they find themselves in match point match point ladies and gentlemen export na leading the way two to one over eternity two eternity two has come such a long way defeated many a great opponent to come here as has export na but the story currently is you know four thousand dollars on the line it's qualifier number one it's a single elimination bracket and these players are all competing for twenty thousand dollars in the championship series throughout this year so ev.io man is where the action is sneaky and heading into game four i don't know i don't know what happened in game two that made eternity turn up so hard and i don't know what happened in game three that export discovered the flaw in their plan and patched it right back up Will they continue their dominance into game four? What are your thoughts, Sneaky? Could be the maps, mostly. I mean, uh, just like I said, True. Uh, more of an open map. Uh, Fractal, a lot more ceiling to work with, a lot more air to work with. So I think Xborg really just enjoyed the uh, really open environment that they are used to in uh, the maps of EV.io. But uh, especially with the new ones coming in, with momentum coming in uh, being map number one and you have a map like dragon temple which is a mix of like air and then cover at the same time uh right. you would expect teams who are more adept in uh, playing that cover game uh to get those first two maps but yeah i mean export gna can keep up with this one as well and this is like a really nice curveball in the map pool where uh teams are now suddenly uh have to play the aggressive method because that's the optimal way to play the fractal map so i'm um, excited to see the rest of the games here yeah, it's going to be good, man. And I think you hit, like, I think that's a great point. Um, maps really play a lot of, uh, play really highly into your strategy, right? What weapons are you going to use? How are you going to position around the map? Um, something that we saw that x 4 NA does is split up their players, but with someone with the LR and then having two people with the MG, right? And then you can set up stuff around the map. One's doing a ton of damage and the other two are rushing to finish off those blows. If it's not as open of a map and you can't set up something that is the backbone of your strategy, right, what happens then? And we saw Export NA kind of struggle in those situations. So, yeah, really keen analysis there. And I hope, you know, coming into map number four, we're going to have to see just what happens. Will Export NA adapt to the situation or will they come back out on top and take the grand finals, man? A, a story for sure. But, of course, we want to shout out all the sponsors for making this possible. Of course, the yep. Extreme Championship Series is powered by Brave, organized by Xborg with sponsors of Swissborg, and, of course, Community Gaming organizing this and making mm -hmm. it possible overall, Sneaky. Yep. And uh, yeah, shout out to every single member on the sponsor list, especially Brave Man turning up with that uh, browser sponsor, something, you know, uh, people who are very involved in gaming and crypto at the same time can use and that has all your favorite features on it. So make sure you download Brave at Brave.com and uh, with our link in the chat that has been spammed for a bit. So guys, uh, please do support Brave. And uh, yeah, I mean, it could be going back into momentum for map number four in this one. Could be the finisher for our series. Could be what uh, proves to us that game number five is still possible and we can go back into Dragon Temple where we started in the first place. So still a lot on the line here for the side of uh, Eternity 2 with a lot to prove, especially uh, they need to get into that game five scenario and uh, they have uh, more of the stake in this one considering, I mean, they have the pressure from uh, that game number four being down just one game, right. but still match point is match point. Match point is match point, man. The pressure is on. It is time to go. 
And so I th believe as these players are getting in, man, it is one thing to compete in a tournament and it's one thing to complete through the entire bracket in one day. So shout out to these players for having the mental endurance. I, you know, like I, I just can't even imagine what it's got to feel like now. Pressure is on. 4000 bucks qualifiers for a $20,000 championship later on in the year. Mm -hmm. There is a lot on the line. EV.io is definitely popping at this point in time. So, like you said, heading back to Dragon Temple for map four. It's an open map. We know that NA team thrives there. We're looking for Eternity to respond and take us to game five. Yeah. I mean, it has to be the perfect response here for the side of Eternity, and I think Momentum is the perfect map to do so. I mean, it is a more of a closed map, but there is going to be a lot of cover that Eternity can work with, which, you know, it is crucial for um, their sake, especially uh, in this game where, um, or in the Fractal game where when there was no aerial cover and just barely any uh, cover at all in the map, they really just lose most of these fights, unless... Um, one of them really turns up. I think this is going to be riding a lot on uh, the heavy fraggers on towards the side of Eternity 2. Especially here for uh, for Bape Music who really needs to turn up for his team. But uh, the rest of the squad really could be, you know, uh, in hot water as well. But Copies, he's been doing some work, especially on this map. But never mind, it is going to be Dragon Temple instead. So I think we're going into a Momentum Map 5. Momentum map five, but currently, yep, map four, export and a currently up two to one in this best of five grand final series versus Eternity 2 in the Extreme Championship Series. Extreme Championship Series powered by Brave, organized by Export. We're playing some EV.io, ladies and gentlemen. And currently, Eternity 2 in the lead. We talked about Dragon Temple being a more open map, being conducive to aggressive plays in Export and A. They're currently in the deficit here, Eternity 2 leading by one point. Exactly. The perfect spot here for both teams at the moment. It's sharing their side of the map, but Zeno, you already know that he wants to go for right now, pressing shift and pressing W at the same time towards the enemy team at the moment. Launches himself to at least two people here. Zeno instantly gets taken down, and there it is. Like nothing happened. A bit of scraps from the fight, but it's five to five. Five, five, six to six. It's a close game. We talk about this map being a quick one. And when you got an aggressive squad like X Borgan A and Eternity 2 going up against each other, and this is exactly what we're getting. It is a bloodbath. Seven to six right now. Eternity 2 doing a very good job. They've got the lead. They've smoked out the left side, and they're trying to pounce on the opposition. They're going to trade back and forth. It's a close one. Yep. And Eternity 2, they do have the lead at the moment, but copies. Trying to extend it for his one great spray continuation on towards that second uh, player. So Eternity 2, they can just keep and baby the lead as much as possible. Maybe they can play outside the means of the map. Just like the ledge in towards on top of that one TP. But the sniper is now available here for Big Boy. I think he's saving it for his teammate who can really do some damage. I think that's going to be big game poppies. No, Zeno actually Let's... takes it. Yeah, Zeno actually takes it there. Not bad for Eternity 2. Ooh, good shot from the distance. That's from Botch Kazver. And the follow-up from Big Brain Poppy is beautiful. He trades back two more frags as Bait Music trades it on back. Eternity 2, 14 to 10 over Xborg NA. We're in the grand finals here. We are in game four. If Eternity 2 take this game, we're heading into game, game five. And if Xborg take this, we've got your grand final victors. And just like that, it's a one-point game. Sneaky. Anything is possible at any moment on this map. Yep, but Eternity 2 does have a two-point lead. It's quite the ring, but Zeno will get a spot one, but just going to TP away. Not going to risk too much, but almost going to die to the guy in the smoke. But great information from the side of Eternity 2, just relaying it to their teammates, just making sure that the push is just correct and gets that perfect trade. Now it is a 16-16, to -16, a perfect spot uh -oh. for both teams who really just want to explode at the tail end of this game instead, but Xborg, they get the lead back, but can they keep it? Can they keep it? In the spikes here, big boy. Gets on out. Into oh, the... What?! Close range with the shotgun, he pumps him and dumps him. Xborg and A maintain the lead here, 20 to 19. Beautifully done. They take that fight. You, sometimes you got to get aggressive, you know what I mean? This is what we were talking about. When you get spotted out, you can wait to get jumped on and wait to react, or you can counter strike, right? 
get them before they get you. 22 to 21 here. Exborg NA still in the lead. And with 4 minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock, they are ticking up towards that 50 bomb. Yep. That 50 bomb is definitely needed at the moment. Exborg NA just going for it. They are not stopping anytime soon. And they know that they have to get to 50 before Eternity can heat up in this game. And use this one as like a catalyst What for what could happen in map number 5. But Exborg... Just trying to make quick work in Dragon Temple, circling around as much as possible, just hunting every single player here. Ooh, the tensions are high. Action is fast-paced here towards the bottom. And of course, they're a little split up in what's happening. They've got to regroup here. 26 to 25, Exporg NA. Shots. Good stuff from Zeno. Mid-air. Beautifully done. Big Boy responds as well. That's 29 to 25 for Exporg NA. Can they keep it up? Mine down on the TP now. Watch on the right side as bait music from the distance. Good with the MG, but not that good from that far away. Exporg NA. Great stuff, and they're avoiding contact for just now. There it is. 30 on towards the board for Exporg NA. 20 kills left for them. That's going to be a huge stim for their confidence at the moment, and now they're just gonna press on forward, create more of a lead for them, but copies and vape music gonna try to reduce the lead to nothing at this point, almost getting 30 for themselves as well, but it is their fight back. I mean, this is a different eternity we are seeing in Dragon Temple. They are now the ones chasing for this lead, and they're still somehow getting back into this game. They are. They're claw clawing. They're crawling. Whatever you want to call it. They're taking the fight straight to Big Boy. Copies comes out on top there. Makes it a three-point game. Eternity 2. Life yet. And as I say that, the hand cannon finds one as x -Borg NA take up towards 34. Taking the fight straight to Copies. Copies comes out on top. But Big Boy returns. It's so back and forth. But it's now a two-point game for x -Borg. As Eternity 2 find three in a row x -Borg. They've got to hold on here and they've got to get aggressive. 36 on the board. This is their chance, right? Down a respawn here. Eternity 2. They fire it back. x -Borg get the stagger. They find two in a row. They could make this 39. There's two minutes left on the clock here, Sneaky. And it is so back and forth. Yep, super back and forth. And now Exborg still looking for these kills, man. Eternity 2 just sticking together this entire time. So Exborg might have oh to do the God. same, but so much of a wipe. Now it is only a single point between these two teams. Exborg still with a singular point as the lead, uh -oh. and it is going to be gone with Big Boy's death. It is now equal numbers. Pressure is on for NA. Pressure's on, man. Nine kills left for both teams. 41 to 41, and there's a minute 30 seconds left on the clock. Botch Kaiser watching the distance. Zeno as well going for the pickup here he's gonna get the sniper it looks like as bait music wrapping around the right side watching the area of the smoke they realize that the sniper's been picked up okay eternity two they're taking the middle approach here so they don't get caught out with the long lines of sight here but Ooh, instead gets sniped out by xeno beautifully done that's one on the board but eternity returns with two more it's 43 to 43 copies close quarters big brain poppy goes down and eternity two in the lead again with a minute left on the clock Ooh, Copies is kind of on fire, but Vape Music gonna try to do the exact same really good movement from the side of Eternity 2, but Exborg NA, if they can just hang on by just a bit here, they can still do some magic, but unfortunately they cannot, and that's gonna be a full respawn, oh. Big Bang Poppy with a jumping sniper as well, everything Essential. could go in the way of Exborg NA, they have the special weapons, they have the jump-ins as three players, but where is uh, Eternity oh. looking, they're not looking behind. Not looking behind, and Zeno is going to be able to pick up 46. There are It's a tied game, ladies and gentlemen. 20 seconds left on the board. Will Export secure the grand final to eternity? Take us to a game five. Oh. Export, big brand poppy with the sniper, finds 47. Two. Zeno finds 48. There's 10 seconds left on the clock. One has to run. With a two-point lead. They've got to stay alive at this point. Eternity finds 47. It's a two-point game oh. now. Export, they Zeno find 49. It. They find 50, x getting Hits him with the GG easy, to too. One. Hits him with the easy, brother. They're your Damn, first Damn, Xeno villain arc. A villain arc for real, man. What a close game. Yeah. x and A, man. They do it. First qualifiers in the XCS. And what a stack team to do so. Big boy, the veteran. Xeno, the mechanical master. Really just doing it work for their team and Big Brain Poppy, the long range 
sniper from their team. But Zeno is oh going to be the MVP of the match. Brought to you by Brave.com. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, your MVP of the match. Of course, like you mentioned, essential kills coming out of every member of that export North American team. Big Brain Poppy showing off that big brain. It's pink. It's got lots of folds in it. He popped out with that sniper at the perfect time to secure the lead for his team. And then they dispersed like ninjas in the smoke. Beautifully done from that team, man. But Eternity, too. You got to give it to them, dude. They went up mm -hmm. against... You know, the best players in the game twice in Xborg EU and Xborg NA and put up a fight against both those squads. So shout out to them. Shout out to everybody who competed today. That's qualifier number one, man. What a day. Yeah, what a day of EV.io Eternity showing out for everyone in the stream in the tournament as well. But Export NA coming out on top on a performance by the NA squad itself. So we are going to see them in the top four in this one. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to see more of this team at Eternity 2. They could be back with a vengeance in our second qualifier here. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see when they are going to be popping out next absolutely we'll just have to wait and see but for everyone who tuned in today thank you so much i'm of course in basco that's sneaky it's been an absolute pleasure to bring you the extreme championship series powered by brave organized by xborg brought to you by swissborg as well and community gaming the organizers of the entire thing if you want to get in if you want to get playing today head on over to ev.io on a browser of your choice preferably brave and then head on over to communitygaming.io and sign up for some qualifiers they'll be happening all throughout the month and they'll continue to culminate in a championship for $20,000, Sneaky. So, been an awesome day today. And, uh, yeah, no, thank you for everyone to join uh, who joined us. Sneaky, any last words before we head out here? Yeah, uh, hopefully we do uh, see each other soon, everyone in the chat and the EV.io community, as we do have more of this XES. Absolutely. And once again, thank you all. It's been a pleasure. And we'll see you guys next time. Man, what a what little streak that Export just had right about now, and using their weapons really well. Using their weapons really well, but of course Export and A man, ah, uh, just where there was hope for Narn, it quickly dashed. Like you mentioned, we talked about this pre-stream, right? These power-ups, these weapons, so important. You can ignore them, sure, but. If you do, you're gonna feel it, and you're gonna feel it for sure as Export flip the lead. 11 to 6 now down onto Narn, and they're dominating again. You know what I mean? They've got Big Brain Poppy with the LR. He's sort of the anchor for this red squad, doing tons of damage, getting on out of dodge, trying to get out of danger, but gets taken out this time around. But I like that overall structure that Export and A are running. Yep. And that is going to be what you need in this game, that is for sure. Just them trying to contain their lead as much as possible, especially Xborg and A. They're already on the seven point lead, despite the not the best start for them in this game. But still, we are seeing Narn trying to fight as much as possible. But Zeno has the sniper now, and they are just holding down their side of the map really well, even with the TP mined up. So there's no way to flank Xborg and A at the moment. No way to get behind them. The only way in is through, and that's exactly what Export NA do. Popping open that lead, 18 to 9. 5 minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock here. Export NA, like you mentioned, not the greatest start for them, but man, oh man, it's all about how you finish an Export NA. Doubling the score of the green team, really styling on them as Big Boy trying to make it across the map. He has just not been able to track down the the members, or rather, uh, Narn's just not been able to track down the members of Xborg NA. They're moving so well together across the map as a unit, taking out the green squad and Swallowtail overextending there, going down a big boy. Ooh. Assure returns with a frag and returns with a second. Great trades there, but still Xborg NA roughly doubling Narn's score. Yeah, and I think this lead could be very dangerous here for the side of Narn if they cannot con contain this and try to get this uh, get back as fast as possible because Xborg NA, once they go uh, past the 30 point, it is going to be just Narn trying to not die as much as possible, them just trying to get as much kills because Xborg And it's going back and forth, but Eternity 2 
keep finding these frags in situations that they shouldn't be able to. Bait Music coming out on top of M2RK. That's something you don't see every day. Known for his tracking ability in multiple games. Export EU has a stacked squad right now. Eternity 2. We kept talking about this. It's a David versus Goliath situation. Some would say that. And Eternity 2, they're currently in the lead. They're making it happen. Their Cinderella story is being completed as we speak. 9-7 to seven right now. What a match so far. They're slowing it down, though. Xborg, S-Cage, trying to keep his wits about him with the LR here. He wants to take a long-range fight, do some damage, so the rest of his team can follow it up. But a great shot. Patient there. Watches the arc. Meets it halfway. Shuts it down. S-Cage, good on the shot. Lex copies M2RK, tying things up. Back and forth. These smoke nades have been so good. And it's still a one-point game, Sneaky. And a pretty troubling one here for the side of Xborg EU being down already this deep in the game. And yeah, I would ease I would not I would say, you know, Xborg still, at least keeping it a bit close in this one, but they need to start taking the pace, start being the ones uh leading the charge for this one and make Eternity play their style of EV.io, but so far we're not seeing it because uh, every time, every turn that we are seeing Eternity, they're just winning fights again and again and again. Yeah, again and again and again is correct. Eternity 2 just does such a good job in these skirmishes. When it gets tough, when it gets complicated, when it gets confusing and crazy, Eternity 2 seem to thrive. Their tracking is on point, and these two, Copy and Botch Cosver always stuck together at the hip. They do such a good job operating together with their player bait music, usually on a tangent somewhere. Spotting at the mine, straying clear of it. Jumping straight up into the sky, ready to take the fight mid-air, and the tracking for Copy is better. M2RK and SK Zote, they return for two. Yep, and they're gonna go for more Eternity 2. Starting to fall in this one, but they're still kind of fighting back. Just like you said, the teamwork really coming in clutch for them at the moment. When there is a kill from one of the members here of x there is going to be an, an Eternity 2 player jumping in immediately. And so far, that's a really hard strategy to deal with. Because, once again, it's kind of in the vein of uh, just constantly fighting to keep the lead. Absolutely. And what do you do up against pressure so such overwhelming pressure, really. Export EU, they're used to being the ones putting the pressure on teams. Eternity 2, though, they are not allowing that to happen. M2RK, we know him for his tracking. We know him for his mechanical prowess. We're seeing it on display right before our eyes. A beautiful double putting Export in a better position than they were just moments ago. But is it enough as copies returns with one m2rk on a streak here but denied by copies and bait music as eternity to open up that left on the clock here sneaky and it is so back and forth yep super back and forth and now Xborg still looking for these kills, man. Eternity 2 just sticking together this entire time. So Xborg might have oh to do the God. same, but so much of a wipe. Now it is only a single point between these two teams. Xborg still with a singular point as the lead, uh, and oh. it is going to be gone with Big Boy's death. It is now equal numbers. Pressure is on for NA. Pressure's on, man. Nine kills left for both teams. 41 to 41, and there's a minute 30 seconds left on the clock. Botch Kaiser watching the distance. Zeno as well going for the pickup here he's gonna get the sniper it looks like as bait music wrapped around the right side watching the area of the smoke they realize that the sniper's been picked up okay eternity two they're taking the middle approach here so they don't get caught out with the long lines of sight here but Ooh, instead get sniped out by xeno beautifully done that's one on the board but eternity returns with two more it's 43 to 43 copies close quarters big brain poppy goes down and eternity two in the lead again with a minute left on the clock Ooh, copies is kind of on fire, but Bape Music gonna try to do the exact same really good movement from the side of Eternity 2, but Xborg NA, if they can just hang on by just a bit here, they can still do some magic, but unfortunately they cannot. And that's gonna be a full respawn. Oh. Big Bay Poppy with a jumping sniper as well. Everything Essential. could go in the way of Xborg NA. They have the special weapons, they have the jump ins as three players, but where is uh, Eternity oh. looking? They're not looking behind. 
Not looking behind, and Zeno's gonna be able to pick up 46. There are, it's a tied game, ladies and gentlemen. 20 seconds left on the board. Will Export secure the grand finals of eternity? Take us to a game five. Ooh. Export, big brain poppy with the sniper, finds 47. Zeno finds 48. There's 10 seconds left on the clock. One has to run. With the two-point lead, they've got to stay alive at this point. Eternity finds 47. It's a two-point game Ooh, now. Export. They Zeno find 49. It. They find 50. Export getting it. Hits him with Take the GG easy to too. One. Hits him with the easy brother. They're your damn first Zeno villain arc. A villain arc for real, man. What a close game. Yeah. Export getting it. Express his leaders. A bit. Yeah, I think so. Might get big. So that would be massive. And so it's a mirror of Buffield and mirror off of Brinrold and Amrock on exactly the same grade, but one is nature, the other one is air. Widow has the upper hand on the other one. Well, but I mean, also might have a little bit because he's playing the air versus yeah. he's the counter element. So we'll oh. see if he can capitalize on it. Will it be enough? Lolomi is first this time, so we know he likes to be second, but he probably has a good strategy for being first too. Yep. Both lining, so... Some. It's interesting that he drops that one here, because obviously... Well, okay, yeah, you, it's hard to take it back with the nature, so that seems unlikely. Poof. So, the affix, like... Wolves wanted to play the earth and the dark, but the... Uh, oh no, he just played the. Yeah, I'm not sh Ah, because he w he wanted to play it so he could actually take. Yeah, he so wanted, he wanted to, retake to play the his nature. Earth, but then it got too big. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, first kind of a quick play oops. that we see here. Yeah, oopsies. Lolomi just uh, going for it, uh, controlling the full board. <laughs> Full board and the Trinity. Yeah. And, uh, but the thing is, it's still kind of laying some groundwork for Warsaw. So this turn. No, yeah, I guess this, this, this will be calm. But... Like, if he plays his leader in B3, then. Yeah. Doesn't create any affinity. Uh, he really wants to keep his leader from. We had a dream five years ago, and look what happened. Swiss ball. Swiss ball. Swiss ball. Raised $52 million from 24,000 individuals from the four corners of the world. Launch the first crypto app to educate the world. Released the Swissborg app serving 700,000 community members. The CHSB token hits unicorn status with $1.4 billion market cap. Swissborg ranks top five DeFi players in the world. All of this thanks to you, the best community in the world. If you want to take part in the next five years, hop on. Any Canopic Hoarder, two Rock Drake eggs, gives him 12. Okay, no, the, the Protected on oh, the God is going to keep him. So he just, yeah. wants to, he just wants to get that Protected off. Mm -hmm. Is what it both but how does to. he? Unfortunately, his hand is terrible to get rid of it. Yeah.
And the fact that it has ward as well. Okay, so he dumped Sephiric Rain. Okay, okay, I think that's a good move. I think that's actually a good move and an end turn. I like that. I mm -hmm. like that, actually. Okay, Blade comes out. It's not going to do anything. Oh, I think you got to... I think you gotta throw that hatchling. Really? Oh, you just, just to put him just... even closer? Yeah. So the other Canopic, are they Are they going for it here? No, right? Because they have to get the protected off. So uh, double over the line here might be it. I'm not sure. That's 14. Okay. They're going for it. CK, they're going for it. Anti looking for the lethal here. They've got two do over the lines. They've got the double necronomics. The, the, uh, the unexpected gift. So one over the line goes. Then they throw the second. And then is this enough? Yes, he has the he has the pip. He wins. Wow. Anti takes it. Anti, Anti takes it. 91 is going wow. to be your Xborg Championship Series finals champion. Taking it 3-2 over Lexicon with a, with, with a, a oh double over-the-line turn, man. Are you wow. kidding me? Are you kidding wow. me? Wow. I told you we were in for something, and <laughs> wow. Unbelievable I mean, ending to that. Are you? Wow. It had to take something like that to bring that Lexo like, streak that, that he was on down. The DeFi path is not an easy one. You will face many challenges and risks. So you'll need the right tools.